Let's see, is my mic working? Uh, if you didn't know, my old computer imploded, so I have to set shit up on this new one. Let's see... It's working? Okay, the audio doesn't sound like ass, right? Uh, let me see if I can check how my... It's not too bad. Okay. Uh, let me check what it sounds like. Uh, if it's something that will sound like... Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I live by the good enough policy when it comes to audio. Okay, yeah, the the audio's uh fine, that's good. Oh, it cut out. Uh oh. Uh <laughs> Is it working now? OBS just like t uh what the fuck? OBS is doing a thing where it's just like turning red. Uh <laughs> Oh yay. Uh, what if I change this? Uh, alright. I have the chat open, so if- Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it seems like the- Let me see. Um, advanced audio properties. What does that do? Okay. Alright, let's just hope that it doesn't cause us any issue, and if it does, please tell me, because I have chat open. And I'm no professional, I am just some random dude. <laughs> Alright, uh, we got eight people watching, that's good enough for me. Um, one sec, let me put in chat. Cause I can use that fancy smashy pin message. All right, sup, losers? It's me. It's been like nine months since I've done this, apparently, uh, because I like doing it when it's uh, convenient for me, <laughs> which is not all the time. Uh, but yeah, I miss doing these whenever I'm not doing them. I like thinking casually about just like like oh like well, I have this thing going on right now I could talk about this if I did another live stream so uh I do have uh I don't know if I want to put it on the screen but I have let's see this I like doing requests on these streams so if you have yeah it's been a fucking while jeez no, this is also reminding me how- Cause, nay, you're from D1AM, it's kind of funny how long I've been in that. Uh, uh, I'm fine. Uh, I've been all week wanting to do streaming because I'm on break right now, which means it's convenient. So, but the thing is, uh, I've had some issues with certain, uh, art pro- So here's the thing, is my computer. My old computer, the keyboard thought it would be really funny to just like stop working. Yeah, time is passing. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? I I joined that Discord server like uh just a few months ago. What do you mean? I've been there for like a fucking year. Uh, but yeah, my computer. So my old computer is a Surface computer with a detachable keyboard. Good lord, where are those proportions? And, uh, what happened is, so I've been, like, slowly trying to get shit on my new computer, and so I had to cave in and get Toon Boom, because if you want an animation job, all the jobs want you to know Toon Boom, even though Clip Studio is just fine, and they make you do some bullshit activation code shit, so I was up last night, uh, having to, like, go through, like, emails and shit to find some fucking activation code and try to navigate my old computer with 
uh, it's not working keyboard, so I have to use the on-screen keyboard because it's touchscreen. And that was annoying. Yeah, and also not all my files transferred to this new computer, so I had to reset up. Anyway, uh, so I'm willing to take requests for uh, these art streams, like always, because if I was... Uh, if I wanted to just draw whatever I felt like drawing, I would just do whatever I felt like drawing. But it's sometimes fun to... It's an odd, I'm an odd how you can draw Ito in just two minutes. To, listen, this is my protagonist of my webcomic. I have drawn him... I've never played Honkai Star Rail, sorry. Uh, I have drawn the protagonist of my webcomic actually thousands and thousands of times like you can even see i have his color scheme in the corner yeah if you want your fan art there's your biblically accurate ito color scheme including that ugly shade of brown i use for his gloves i hate that shade of brown by the way what was i thinking this is like so specific but because i draw him so much it's actually really funny so i've been using the same reference picture for him for actually four to five years it's a not good drawing. The lines aren't even colored in properly. But, like, I've never bothered updating it because I just know how to draw Ito from memory. You can actually see in the corner I have... Uh, you can tell I've been working on the next chapter of my webcomic, which the uh, newest chapter just got posted the... Oh, yeah, by the way, you can't hear the audio through the, my headphones, right? I am listening to Project Sakai music. <laughs> uh, but... Maybe I don't want to get copyright striked more than I already have. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, my newest chapter in my webcomic just dropped recently. And you can see here I have my uh, reference pictures. I ha One thing I have been procrastinating is I need to design... Great. One is I, for some reason, haven't put Ito's outfit on that reference sheet. Because that outfit's his outfit from the previous, like, arc. Uh, where he has, like, his hair down and he has the big-ass uh, black coat. His color scheme is, like, slowly getting darker and darker. Which is half on purpose and half not. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see his original colors and you can tell that this was back when I was not afraid of saturated colors. Like, <laughs> even looking at Soma's hair... I, I don't have the balls to draw this uh, saturated anymore. Uh, everything I draw always has, like, uh, fucking... Yeah, if anyone has any requests, you could tell me. I'll probably draw them if I know what they're from. I'm just... It's weird, because a lot of people... Okay, I don't know if this is a hot take, but a lot of people will always, like, draw things that they don't actually watch. And I never understand that. I, like, can't draw a thing if I'm not, like, absolutely familiar with what it is. Like, like that one tweet of the... Have I watched Dungeon Meshi? Not yet. Everyone tells me I should. I haven't been keeping up with that much anime recently. Uh, I know that Pro ZD voice is a character. Draw? What's that? That sounds like the name of a fucking dinosaur. Oh, it is an ancient creature. Yeah, I'll do that. Or, let's see. Yeah. It's been oh, my story's protagonist. I drew her once and it looks so bad. I'm scared to draw ever since. Well, here's the thing. Because it's your character, you can't draw them wrong. My... Can I draw one of the funny little creatures from Zero? Yeah, I can also do that. A lot of them are based off of prehistoric animals, actually. So, let's draw... Let's see. I'm sorry that I'm going to be Mrs. No Fun and, like, look up what they actually look like, by the way. Uh, if you can't... I've been, uh, more into drawing... Let's see. This is the one on Wikipedia. Whoever invented WebMP or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm sorry, I'm about to be Miss No Fun and draw it more scientifically accurate, but I think it still has the face. Have y'all ever seen that pog fish, by the way? There's a species of fish that looks like a pog that's 
uh, I forgot what it's called, but like, look up Pogfish and you'll probably find it. Let's see. I'm actually not that good at drawing fish, by the way. But yeah, I've been... I've been drawing more, um, like, paleo art recently. Like, I've kind of been afraid to, because I keep thinking, oh, they're jawless fish, that explains why they look the way they do. Yeah, fun fact, fish used to not have jaws. Like, eventually we got, like, Dunkleosis, which is peak, uh, but... <laughs> I've been to a few of my favorite side characters recently, since I like them way more than protagonists for actions have been getting on my nerves recently. So, not to just... <laughs> when the character takes over, yeah, I get... For me, I, like, switch my fixation from, like, character to character. So, like, sometimes I'll be like, today I feel like drawing Ito 50 billion times. Today I dr feel like drawing uh, Ares 50 billion times. Today I feel like uh, drawing whatever 50 billion times. Let's see. I'm gonna grab my nice brushes for... Dummy jump scare. Yo, Dummy, what's up? Welcome to the stream chat. Because recently... So, like, God, one thing I want to try is I've seen on... So, I've been posting more of my, like, prehistoric artwork just because people have been, like... I've always been afraid to post it because I keep thinking that, like, no one's gonna give a shit. Because most of the people who follow me are here for, like, anime bullshit and not for, uh, me talking about dinosaurs and shit. But, <laughs> there we go. I still gave it the face, don't worry. Uh, let's see. So it looks like it has armor on its back. Like, uh, I need to watch Dungeon Mishy already. You can't listen with sound on? Aw, oh, rip. <laughs> now that I think about it, why am I? Uh, but yeah. Protagonist causing the death of the character I'm currently hypixelated on. Can I, can I, can I stop it? I blame the protagonist. Sometimes the char- This is like so weird because it sounds so pretentious, but it is true that sometimes characters just kind of take over. It's happened to me before. Uh, where just like- like, here's an example of minor spoilers for my webcomic. Uh, recently, when, like, the one chapter where Ito, where Grey, like, confronts Ito about how weird he's been acting, it wasn't going to be that intense originally. I wanted Grey to be more like, like, Ito, something's wrong. I can feel, but, like, him, like, going up and, like, grabbing Ito and, like, yelling at him, that was not in my script. Like, you don't want it, but it makes sense for the character. Yeah. It, it, it <laughs> uh, but, like, yeah, basically, like, what happened was, I didn't, because, like, I was like, would Grey be that aggressive? But, like, I realized, yeah, he probably would. He's being, like, pushed to his breaking point here. He's lost somebody before and blames himself for it. So he just kind of took over. And I think the comic's way better for that. It would have been way more underwhelming if, uh, Gray was just like, Edo, I'm like, kind of, you kind of sus, bro. Kind of sus. Kind of sus, bro. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes it, that's how I get into weird tangents in my comic. Just because it just feels correct for the character, you know. Uh, you know, you know, it's weird to say you don't have full control over your character's actions, but it sometimes does feel like that. I mean, I guess that means that you've made... God. I'm trying my best here. I could just, like... Let me save, like, the image to my computer. Uh, I, I told you guys, I'm not that good at drawing fish. <laughs> Let's merge all these layers. But yeah, I love this brush, by the way. Uh, if any of y'all have Clip Studio Paint, the marker brush is overpowered. That, and there's like a pastel brush. It's also really good. Let's see. Typically, my head empty is makeup for 98% of the time. It normally works out. For me, I like have a general plan of like what's going to happen. But like a lot of the like... <laughs> yeah, it is one. <laughs> uh, I'm just drawing it slightly more scientifically accurate because I'm a fucking nerd. 
But I'm also a shit poster. I'm a shit poster and a nerd. Let's see, this one's kind of like... Let me try to get that texture. I did a really good Quetzalcoatlus with like really good texture recently. Uh, I like posted it on servers that even have nothing to do with... I'm actually in no servers. That... Maybe I should join some Discord servers with other dinosaur nerds. Because I've been posting more of that art recently. You appreciate the accuracy? Yeah, I like being accurate. It still has the stupid fish. It's still a jawless fish. I've never drawn a jawless fish before. I've drawn some Dunkleostis, though. Uh, because Dunkleostis is amazing. Yeah, literally. Woo -woo. Scientifically accurate. Oof. No, it's... that's what I appreciate. Yeah, I posted those dinosaur Project Set Guy characters recently, and it's really funny. Okay, confession. I think it's really cute and funny. Can you suggest one? That... Yeah, you can suggest while I'm in the middle of drawing. Uh, I might make a notepad of everything someone's requested so far. Uh, but yeah, I like having a ch uh, chat talk. It's fun. Uh. That's my favorite part of the streams, is just being able to kind of chat. Let's see. Let me open up the scientific accurate picture. So it looks like it has fins. How much do you plan out when you write? I'm genuinely curious since I could possibly learn something. So, okay, so my creative process, I tend to write out some sort of script. Terrified Anne? Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll add that to- let me open a notepad. One sec, let me take- <laughs> There's like a- I accidentally opened up a weird old notepad I had. Uh, okay, so... Stream requests. Zero. Critter. Scared. On. Tamara Fire Emblem? Sure. Fire Emblem. I haven't done Engage characters. I haven't drawn any Engage art yet. I should do that. Uh, I need to finish Engage still. But yeah, for me, I like... So in my head... So like, let's take the... Because I don't want to spoil a future scene. Let's take the one scene of Ido and... Like, Grey confronting Ido, for example. In my head, I was like, okay, I know there's going to eventually be a scene where Grey notices... It. It, it kind of started with me being like, at some point, Grey needs to know... Oh yeah, Engage is a really fun game. Can you, can you tell I have ADHD from the way I, like, jump around topics? Uh, uh, so, I was like, Grey's gonna confront Ido, and, like, that's what was planned, and then in my head, at, like, 2am, I collapse on my bed and daydream to myself. This is, this, this is, this is how I do things, by the way. Uh, so I just kind of daydream to myself how the scene's gonna play out in my head. A lot of times what I'll do is I make these little doodle dumps of, like, whatever I'm planning. Like, it's usually to get the expressions of the characters. Uh, let me see if I can find one that's not a spoiler. Um. Uh. uh this is vague enough to not be a spoiler. So, there's actually Haru becoming a zero. You can't tell from his lack of horns. I'll sometimes do this, because I'm, like, trying to, like, envision in my head this is not a spoiler because Haru being a zero means you know that he became a zero at some point uh this is me like envisioning this is the expression i think he makes this is what he's gonna do this is like this is how i like kind of plan in my brain things and uh when i write out the scene i have the like general plan in my brain already and when i draft out let me i can actually open up my comic drafts Only a few games I played are the GBA and 3DS ones. Uh, the GBA ones, I think, are the... I don't know what that is that you, you're spamming. Um, yeah, no offense if I don't know what the thing is that you request, by the way. Uh, yeah, please don't spam. Uh, spam won't make... There are, there are six people on stream, fam squad. I will see your message. So, this is a page that I wouldn't mind showing off. So, when I draft things, 
uh, it usually starts like this. I'll sometimes just write text on screen. Uh, you can see a lot of times I'll just do like a pose and something so you know who's who. Like I have Ito's little hair thing here so I know this is Ito. I have Yuki's hair sorta and I'm like that's Yuki. And you can see a lot of time or like Soma like half of his face is covered with hair. And you can see just like the general storyboard of things. Like I don't have all the detail here yet. It's just like here's the expression that I want. I try to put in emphasis on expressions if it's important. Like in this scene, his expression's very important. And then what I do once I've done all this is I put the panels on top. Uh, Clip Studio has some panel tools. I've modified them to my liking. Then I draw, as you can see here, I have line art. Eventually I do the color. And let me grab a finished page. I hope this is interesting to y'all and I'm not boring you. Uh, let's grab something from the previous chapter. Um, here. So I actually have custom brushes for my speech bubbles. I, I made them myself. This is like one of the only brushes I've ever made is the speech bubble because I like it being slightly bumpy because my line art uses a bumpy brush because it hides my mistakes and also I think it just... I, I don't like drawing overly clean artwork. I like it to be a little messy. You like, especially, like, if my expressions, I, I don't like things to be clean. I would, okay, this is a weird thing to say, but you don't be afraid to make your art a little ugly sometimes. People, especially when they're doing intense emotions, they are not pretty. When, when you're crying, you're not pretty, and it looks weird if someone's crying and they're, like, completely normal looking, because people don't look like that. Uh, uh, but yeah, so let me open up, let me stop talking and just show you guys my layers. Oh boy, my scandalous layers. So, here's my sketch. You can see it's a draft layer and you can see I have like general, uh, I have Vincent's tail and his uh, manly high heels. And you can see here, this is all really vague because I'm making this draft for myself and I want to just be able to be like, this is, like, there, there are buildings, there is Vincent, he has wings and a tail, so I know that's Vincent. And there, he is just a circle. <laughs> because I've drawn these characters a billion times. Uh, you can see I have, like, Ray peeking out and kind of a, ah, you can do this, Ray. And then I'll do this on top. Actually, the, this one went through a little bit of a process because I changed Vincent's design, like, last minute. So this was actually originally a different... I might even still have the original colors, but the, the original colors were uh, kind of hard to see. Okay, no, I deleted them. The original colors were really hard to see, so I changed them to be... Because it was just, like, pure black and couldn't really tell what was what. And I want you to be able to tell what what's what, you know? So yeah, I have that. The backgrounds, I usually have, like, a self-made, like, uh, you can see I kind of copy, I think I copy paste and edit, I copy paste and edit a lot. If you look through my comic, you'll see there's a lot of backgrounds that are copied with my old edits so you don't notice, because if the background's not the focus, it doesn't need to be overly detailed. Like, here it might be more detailed than in other panels, because we're establishing the scene. We're like, these are buildings, there's this bright sun. That gets a lot of cool lighting effects. So you can see here I have these layers that I just copy onto everything. So this is a hard light layer. So if I go into here, you can see that because it's a clipping... Uh, this is a very overpowered thing, by the way. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> layer mask. So you can see I can erase or add shading as I please. Oh, that's... I, I should have done that! That, that lighting's so cool! I should have done that for the comic, damn it! Look at that! Look how cool that looks! Fuck! Um, but yeah, so it's basically a quick way to add shading. It's just a hard light layer. Uh, I check to make sure it works with all the colors. So sometimes things won't work with certain colors. Like, fun fact, Felix's... I like how we have this fish in the corner. Felix's transparency effect 
didn't work on like Leon's skin tone because it's way darker. So I manually picked new colors to color in his face because it looks like really weird and green otherwise. <laughs> so sometimes, so generally I try to test things on every character first to make sure. I'm very interesting in novels myself, writing itself, and when it goes to the draw a character sometimes, well, I do recommend doing those doodle dumps. I think that's a really good way to get a scene out, but I guess I'm showing you my comic process as well. Uh, so I have a hard light layer. You can see I'm hard light kind of just like tints things, so I'm adding a little bit of a red tint. So there's this fancy fancy word called ambient light, and basically whatever the environment is, the colors are going to kind of resemble that. So since the ambient light is very, very, very red, we can add some red. And you, look how instantly Ray looks like he's part of his environment. It's insane. And I add a little bit of screen just to get a little more ambient light and a little more variety. Uh, and then uh, my effects layer. There's no effects right now. Overlay. I have a... Uh, a bunch of particles, because I want there to be dust particles, because they fill an empty space, and also it gives it some environment. And then I have um, the screen layer, which is basically one thing to tie everything together. And then I have the text and the sound effects. And that's how I make a page of my webcomic. <laughs> that was a long tangent. I hope you guys are all enjoying it. And sometimes... so. There'll be the effects layer is if there's like blood or if like uh Ray's ability, for example, like makes everything turn red. Or like this panel where like Hana shoots a little bit of wind magic at Ito. Uh and it's just like on top of everything else. By the way, drawing someone at bed is so fucking hard. It's one of those things you would not expect to be hard, but it is. Or like even adding this well, like I should have added some grain to this, damn it. I might actually have a grain layer in here and I just like forgot to unhide. I wouldn't be surprised. No, there is a grain layer, it's just that it's so subtle that you can't notice. Uh, yeah, it's there, I just made it too subtle. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I've, yeah, I have the color schemes. I have everyone's text colors. Uh, if you want to see my scandalous text colors, there you go. Uh, that's every character's speech bubble colors. I like color coding them. I think it looks nice. Uh, also, uh, I don't know if this is just I've been staring at this too long, but I think Hana's speech bubble color doesn't look good against this background. I wish it looks better, but it doesn't. That's inevitable. Things like that happen sometimes. Uh, but yeah, what was I talking about before? That's a lot of colors. I have like 40 fucking named characters. But yeah. Uh, that's my creative process. And, oh yeah, what I was supposed to be telling you is that I just kind of... A lot of the scenes I plan out, but the back and forth dialogue I make up on the fly. So like this scene is, uh, Ray encounters Vincent and he's awkward because he and Vincent have a past. And he knows that Vincent does not like him at all. Uh, so, like, all this dialogue, I don't think I, like, always had plans for this scene. I just, like, on the spot, it's like, okay, Ray is... We're supposed to see Ray, he's a little out of his element. He's not as confident as he is in some cases. You know, he... Uh, especially because Vincent knows... God, I don't want to spoil things. Uh, damn it, I can't spoil things! I can't spoil things! I mean, I was I was going to make a animated thing that might involve Vincent's backstory where I will spoil it, but for now we'll... we'll... Uh, but yeah, so Ray's out of his element. I can't tell you why yet. <laughs> if I make that animated thing, I find I'm spoiling it, though, because I feel like that's spoiling it in an artistic way. As opposed to just spoiling it in it. There's thing that, that's the thing about having a webcomic. Sometimes you gotta keep things to yourself and it's really painful. Like Solver's existence. I wanted to keep a secret until he first showed up. Because I was like, I don't I I want you to speculate about uh Silver, but I didn't want you to speculate about Silver yet. Like that's why I said like on my own Discord server, 
a, a bad question you can ask somebody who's working on something is anything where if they confirm or deny it, it's still a spoiler. Like, the worst thing to ask someone... <laughs> yeah, it really is pain keeping secrets. I want you to know, like, all my cool backstories, but it won't have impact. So, like... T asking somebody specifically like will this character die for example here's the problem if i say yes they will die that's a spoiler but also if i say no they won't die you now know that they can't die and they're immortal you know you're, you're like oh well, guess they can't die and i know you can lie but i don't want to so don't ask people questions or like even asking like one person on my discord asked is this character a zero and I'm like, I cannot answer that. The answer was no and has been stated in the com comic. Uh, it's the one character where it has been stated. Uh, spoilers, Red has explicitly been stated to not be a zero. Which was kind of funny. Which is why I can say that. Because I think it's like the only character. Uh, aside from Silver can sense when people are zeros. And I think he, I think he mentions like... Gray is not a zero, which I think that much is obvious. If I would, that that would be a really bullshit twist. <laughs> you ever struggle with differentiating characters' personalities? Uh, sometimes. Like actually, I've shown uh concept art. I show I've shown concept art once. I don't know if I have it on this new computer. Half my files in transfer. Uh, Vincent originally was too much like Ray. So I actually had to change him because he was at first like very he's still full of himself, but full of himself in like the way that Ray is full of himself. And I didn't want that. Uh he was like super smug and shit, and it's like I can't have two rays, so I had to switch it up. Uh where is it? It might have not transferred here. Half my files just decided they didn't feel like transferring to my new computer. And I don't know why. And because my keyboard's broken, I can't use an external hard drive. Thanks, uh, computer. God. I have my drawings dated, and it's just like, I'm looking, I'm like, oh my god, 2021, I remember. Oh! 2021, Jesus, this was a long time ago. I felt like it was a recent thing. So this is one of Vincent's old design. Sorry for asking many questions. I'm just really into this. No, please ask me questions. I love answering questions. There's like nobody in chat regardless, you know? Uh, I love talking. It's like my honor to be able to talk about my webcomic. It's my favorite thing. I love it. Uh, so you can see Vincent's old design here. You might notice his face looks exactly like Ray. His fashion style looks exactly like Ray. Uh, he, like, that's the same character. I can't have that. Uh, especially because, like I said, it's implied already, it's not square. Like, he and Ray have some past. I won't say what it is, but they have a past. And if they were the same, one, that would make no fucking sense. And two, you know, that would kind of ruin things, because... It, it would be weird to have two characters who are identical be, like, enemies. So, that's how Vincent got his uh, new design. You can see I changed the color scheme to be, like, red and yellow. As opposed to, like, purplish. And there was no green. Like, Ray's color is, like, green and purple. He still has... Uh, the wings do inherently make him similar, but, like, that's in a good way. That's in a parallel way. Uh... And I gave him a dinosaur tail because, it's funny, Carla already had a tail that was a spike. But I wanted him to have a spiky tail. I thought it would be really cool and intimidating if he, like, slammed you against a wall with a tail. Which I realize is kind of hard to draw. I almost, I've been playing Metal Gear re recently and I'm almost like, oh, maybe his tail should be able to stretch out like Solidus Snake's boot, like, Doc Ock arms. Because those are really cool and they almost make up for how stupid of a name Solidus Snake is. Um... <laughs> So, I gave him a Stegosaurus tail, which is a weird design choice, but it is a unique one. Let's see, I think... Is this done? What do you guys think? Maybe I can add... Let's see. It feels like this is missing something. Let me grab my brush again. I like this brush. It's nice and textury. 
I'm trying to get better at... Oh, yeah, now it looks like a fish. Yeah, those highlights really helped it. These colors are a little shitty, but... Got him. Cyberpunk Dead Boy is playing right now, and I've been, like, listening to this song constantly. It's so good. There we go. So let's see what's next on the request list. Let me make sure. I'm not. I'm always going to check with the request list, by the way, if the person's still in chat, because I don't really want to. I want to draw something while people are in chat, you know? It'd be kind of sad if I didn't. I like how it's canon canonically. This makes no fuck like. No, it's so fuck it all. That's the English lyric in the official English version. Okay, yeah, actually that looks like really nice. I'm getting better at drawing fish. He's nice and shiny. <laughs> There's the initial sketch. I'm gonna put the initial sketch next. I think next to it. I think it's really funny. Yeah, this reminds me that there's, like, I've seen on Tumblr somebody who apparently does, like, live streams while drawing dinosaurs and then a bunch of people draw with him. I should try doing that. Have I listened to the Bookley Collection? God, I haven't listened to the current Bookley Collection yet. Damn. Okay, so next was, who was the one who requested me to draw a random critter from Zero? Let's see. Uh... Let's see. Was it North? Oh yeah, uh, North mentioned recently, thank you for the candy color palette of Edo. If you have any of my OCs, if you want references, ask me, I will DM them to you, or I'll just post them publicly, or whatever. Uh, all my refs, I can send to you. Like, I might crop out a spoiler if there is one, but for the most part. Okay, North, is North still in chat? Yep. Uh, which critter do you want me to draw? I just want me to draw any critter. Let's, let's open up, uh, hmm. Fish. Whether that's in response to the thing I drew or the fact that there's fish in Zuru. Let's see, I'm looking for, let's see, there's like, uh, there's the one bird in the, uh, in the gray chapter, there's the bird in Ray's chapter, there's all the things in, uh, the one, let's see, slugs. Hi, Lost Blade, welcome. Uh, let's see, there's the Intellidont. Like, the little snow pig thing. Let's see. What are you guys feeling? Do we want birds? Do we want a pig? Do we want, um... Do you want a pteranodon? Uh... Fish? What are y'all feeling? I should make, like... Fun facts. A lot of the little critters from Zero have lore. <laughs> Anyone got anything? Recommend listening to mid-tier songs. Oh yeah, I do. Uh, if if I've made like multiple playlists, birds. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll do the big. I've been thinking of doing a drawing of the big chapter nine bird recently for no apparent reason. You have to worry about. Uh, so for me, uh, I have a playlist. I can send this to you guys on Discord where uh, I compile every song I can find on Spotify. There's a lot of mid-tier, like, like not in terms of mid-tier quality, mid-tier popularity songs. Like, look through my uh, series of drawings of, like, songs from last year. Uh, there are so many hidden gems. Like, uh, Memento Mori by Buryu. That one's, like, one of my, like, favorite niche songs, and y'all need to listen to it. The Teto song, it's so good. It's Teto's best song. Let me see. Where is my... Like I said, I... New computer, so my uh, folders are all mixed up, so I need to find where is... Oh, speaking of creatures from Zero, you guys want to see something really cool while I look for this one ref? Um, hey, God, I haven't... My old, my old, old drawings are in Fire Alpaca, so I have to... Like, remember how Fire Alpaca works. If you want a good free drawing program, by the way, 
fire alpaca is passable. Like, the first, like, dozen chapters of Zero were drawn on fire alpaca. God, I'm finding a lot of way. Looking at old art's really funny. Let's see, chapter... I believe I have... Yeah, here it is. I haven't... You guys are going to get to see my old-ass uh, art. I can also bring give you guys some lore on... So, at one point, there was this scrapped... So, there was this scrapped scene, and I'm happy I scrapped it. It was pointless. Uh, I just wanted to do... Listen to Mento Mori before. I love listening to Love You Vocaloid songs. I can sing a whole playlist. Please do. Yeah. Uh... So there was going to be a joke where I just wanted to do an excuse for creature design, I'm not going to lie, uh, involving a bunch of little creatures. So I was just designed a bunch of creatures. And you might actually notice, I like a lot of these, by the way. I like this, like, eyeless bird. I like this whale that's, like, pastel colored. Some of these aren't winners. Um, a lot of them aren't, actually. I like this one a lot. I should use this for something. I really like it. Um... This one I think is also really interesting. It looks like a Final Fantasy monster. Um, I like the color scheme on this one a lot. Uh, yeah, so you might recognize this guy who carry who was in that one little like uh, like weird ass flying guy. So he was not originally going to be the animal I used. Originally it was going to be this, but this design was just so good. I just made this on the spot. Like, I made it on the spot with all these. And then there's just this banger here. So I ended up replacing uh, this guy with this guy. Because, like, this is just a random fucking dragon. This is, like, a genuinely really interesting creature design. With its, like, weird useless arm legs. Like, it's, pal it's so good. It's so good. I, I was cooking. But... Yeah, it's really- I like- I like creatures that are a little funny and a little- I like my- I like my creature design a little ugly. I, something that's like a piece of advice that's stuck with me for years, uh, that I saw in a YouTube video, is nature's never perfect, and if you draw an animal and it looks perfect, it doesn't look correct. So, here's my refs for chapter 9, by the way. Uh, Originally, Gray's mom had two ponytails, but I replaced it with one. Also, her design was inspired by Haku Vocaloid. Also, what are those yaoi hands? Good lord. Uh, there's Gray. You can see I, like, changed this from a low ponytail to a high ponytail. In I don't know if you can see my cursor at all. Yeah, I changed this from a- let me make my brush bigger. I changed this from a low ponytail to a high ponytail. For no reason. I guess it just differentiates from, like, the- like, really young and, like, sort of teenager. Uh, here's Isaac. Uh, fun fact about Isaac's design, by the way. I got the idea for, like, the half-on, like, coat from Futaba from Persona, because I was playing Persona 5 at the time. And I was like, I'll remove the feathers so it's not obvious and inspired by Futaba. Then later, when I was thinking about, like, symbolism, I'm like, feathers, freedom, and also dramatic irony... Uh, and then I realized, oops, I did accidentally just make it look like Futaba's jacket. <laughs> Those are supposed to be feathers, by the way. You can't fucking tell. <laughs> yeah. And here's the creatures. I like this thing. It should have, I think its feet could be improved, but otherwise good. I like this, but also its feet could be improved. Why is its feet, like, fleshy? Those should be armored. Uh, here's the cat. I made a brush for its, like, moon pattern. It's just a snow leopard, but orange. Like, you can look up snow leopard and you might even be able to find the exact refs I used. Here's a weird crow. I like the colors a lot. Like, it's not a super interesting design, but I feel like with, like, more detail it could be really interesting. It should also have a shine on this beak. I feel like that would fit. And here is the bird, which is why I found this old-ass drawing. You can tell that I've always been good at drawing dinosaurs. So this thing was inspired by, like, a Quetzalcoatlus, a vulture. It's supposed to be, like, a dinosaur bird. Yeah, green and pink work really well together. Pink's such a weird color. Like, pink also works really well with yellow. 
And this is how I used to do color schemes for backgrounds. I try to be more better at this now. But yeah, there's my refs. Uh, now let's draw a bird. But yeah, I want to update the reference for the bird. Because there's going to be a thing where I'm going to need it. And it's a little messy. But yeah, there is lore to like all the shit I do. Pink is just a pretty color. Yeah. I really like the pink in this design as well. I feel like an underrated use of pink is pink is kind of like red. And a lot of people don't. Like, I think you can make scary designs with pink. Like, for a like, short animation I made for school years ago, I made a about uh, Archaeopteryx, uh, first flying dinosaur, because yes, I'm normal. I, al I always make everything about dinosaurs. Uh, and I made the... T it wasn't actually a T-Rex, but it's basically a T-Rex. I made it pink, and I think it looked really cool. And it's like a very unorthodox color scheme, but I think it worked. I don't think I have the files for that anymore. I might have, like... Yeah, I don't. <laughs> hey, Liz Simp, you might not know who is Liz, so call me Misty. Liz, as in the Owl House character, I have seen Owl House, actually, which is surprising. I don't watch a lot of cartoons. But yeah, I've seen Owl House. I still need to watch, like, I for some, I've watched, like, everything but the last episode for some reason. Which is... Yeah, Owl House is good. I really like things with- I love weird fantasy worlds, if you can't tell. Fantasy is my favorite thing. And I also like things that are very- I like things that are very unorthodoxed. I like when people have fun. If, if your fantasy world is just like skeletons and like generic goblins, get, get good. I think most people know Owl House. More people that more people know Owl House than a lot of the things I talk about. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I like that. Fuck Disney for being a little shit. I just love the current state of the animation industry. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about like I'm like immediately like I'm like saying fuck Disney and then I'm like making a joke about how hard it is to find a job in animation. I'm like, oh right, no, I applied to Disney. Should I be saying that? <laughs> Uh, Owl House, uh, it's the one Disney show with the lesbians, and then Disney was sad, like, too salty that they had lesbians, so they canceled it. God. God. No, don't spoil it. I don't like spoilers. Uh, I do. I actually remember the other day I was looking at, like, the, uh, the, like, creators, like, Twitter, at, like, her artwork and I, I really like the art style that in her like so here's the thing one thing I don't like a lot about a lot of current like uh western animation is I feel like the like cartoon art style is very limiting in terms of expressions it's like very obviously all puppet based animation and I don't like it uh and I see like her like actual illustrations and they're all like much more expressive and I'm like wow if only they let you put animation styles like this on TV. Because I feel like, this is like really weirdly specific, when like, when cartoons do like this, I feel like it's like a very limiting range of expressions. Uh, I feel like you need eyes to be allowed to emote more, because eyes are like the most important things for emoting. Hello, Only Ramos. Welcome, or Orly Ramos. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, I feel like when you do that, you're really limiting yourself. Do you see me? I do see you in chat, yes. There are seven people watching right now. I will see your messages. I'm not a big, big-ass YouTuber. I am just some guy. Please don't spam. Please. If you spam, I am going to mute you. It's spam, yeah. Sorry, fam. Got to mute you.
There we go. Anyway, back. I do actually really like the one character design choice here I like is like the little bit of flesh that you see on a lot of Herkosaurs. I like how it kind of looks almost like a smile. Even though it's just like dragon. Uh. Yeah, this thing in general is very Archosaurian. Fancy word for birds and crocodiles. Fun fact to you, not dino nerds in the audience, by the way, crocodiles are closer to, like, birds than other things. Uh, they actually- that's why crocodiles have similar scales on, like, their feet and stuff. And that's also why crocodiles give a shit about their children. Uh, cause birds also give a shit about their children, and that's also why we know that dinosaurs gave a shit about their children. Because, like, other lizards, well, they're, specifically, they're not lizards, they're reptiles, because crocodiles are not lizards. Uh, don't really give a shit about their babies. Uh, I don't know if turtles are echosaurs, but they also give a shit, they, they, they don't give a shit about their babies. But I don't know if turtles count as archosaurs. They did exist with the dinosaurs, though. I feel like this is a little bit disproportionate, but ah, well. Yeah, dinosaurs are fun. If you can't tell from my weird dinosaur bird obsession. I love vector lines, by the way. Clipsio can do vector lines, and that makes it so I can, like, resize shit without having any loss. Isn't part the reason why they don't bite down on those birds that get in their mouths and stuff? No, nature is not that sentimental. Uh, never forget, cannibalism is more common than you think in nature. Uh, the reason is because, uh, so birds like that, they clean their teeth. Like, actually, let me show you a doodle from the other day. This is like a perfect chance to show off. Um, animals like that. So here's actually one I made of a, I forgot how to pronounce it, cleaning a Uteranus' teeth. Because this is uh, feasible, probably. I never posted it. I should post it. So, animals like these, they... So, when you're a big-ass animal without opposable thumbs, your teeth get dirty. That That's a thing, that's a thing that happens. And having dirty teeth, uh, just like with us, is not a good thing. It makes your teeth all damaged and shit. So what do you do? You do this. You open your mouth and you let the little guys eat all the little shit that's on your teeth. Uh, oh yeah, spiders do eat their mates. <laughs> uh, female spiders are also way bigger than male spiders. Uh, but yeah, so this is the reason they don't bite down. It's not because they're sentimental. They would, if crocodiles eat birds. Uh, it's because they don't want to eat these birds, because if they eat these birds, they're not going to clean their teeth anymore, and they want their teeth clean. This also happens in the ocean. There are animals who, in the ocean, who, uh, there's, like, fish that will eat things on things' teeth. There's also, um, animals that get rid of parasites, like oxpeckers eat parasites off of mammals. So, like, lions won't eat an oxpecker because an oxpecker is gonna, like, you know, clean their parasites off. It's kind of funny. Think biology was the one time I was ever considered the smart kid because I just know all this shit. Because <laughs> I'm a fucking nerd. If you can't tell, you can't tell from the fact that every fucking animal in Zero has like lore and a science. I like giving scientific explanations for the existence of fantasy creatures. I love it. Like God, one of my like biggest influences as a kid was uh, R.J. Palmer, who did like those realistic Pokemon drawings from way back when, and I just loved how he just put a bunch of fucking lore and. The deviant art description. That was my shit. I loved it. I actually got to see him at a con, which was really trippy. I was at Anime Expo, and, like, I was just, like, checking out his art, like, a few days before, and it was just like, Hi, I'm having a table at Anime Expo, and I'm like, what the fuck? That's the guy! That's the guy who, like, influenced me since I was 12! And that, it was, it was kind of, I was very awkward, but I'm glad I approached him. I was just like, Hi! been looking at your art since I was 12. I remember seeing your realistic Pokemon and thinking they were the world's most cool thing in the world. Can I buy your book? And so I bought his book. I have it in the corner of my room. I also bought a Godzilla poster from him. 
I see it's purely because it's mutually beneficial. Yes, it's called a it there's a word for it. It's called symbiotic relationships. It's really interesting. But yeah, symbiotic relationships do exist in nature. Uh and there's a lot of them. It's pretty interesting. Like even we have like we human people have bacteria inside of us that helps us break down food. And we are in a symbiotic relationship with that bacteria because the bacteria gets food from us eating and we keep the bacteria because they, it helps break down food. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's funny. Everyone forgets. Here's the thing is I, I would joke about people forgetting things from biology, but uh, uh, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot everything from history. So it's just my hyper fixations. Oh, God, I'm struggling with the feet. Let's see. Oh, right. It's two. It's three times. I, I'm, one of my favorite things to do with bird designs is give them two front toes and two back toes because owls have that. And I think it's cool. And I forgot. Oh, yeah. This one specifically has three front toes. Yeah. Bird feet look a lot like dinosaur feet, by the way, which makes sense because I tried to make I tried to incorporate a lot of dinosaur elements into this design. Yeah, I think everyone has their one school subject that they remember shit from. Because learning is fun as long as you give a shit about... Like, I'm, like, thinking, like, I'll be up at, like, late o'clock reading, reading Wikipedia articles about dinosaurs and shit. That's also why I mispronounce everything about dinosaurs, by the way. It's because I learn all my stuff on Wikipedia. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not a history person, man. I have to do a bunch of... Here's the thing is, so I go to an art college now and we have our legally required classes and unfortunately, instead of it being science, it's history. So I have to do a bunch of history papers and it's annoying as shit. But we don't have to do math. Because we have to do like the bare minimum of like, you know, the school things for an art school to be considered a school for legal reasons, which is kind of funny. But yeah. So we have a bunch of, like, art history classes, which, it really depends on the teacher. Some of them make it really interesting, and some of them don't. Like, I like things with personal stories. I remember I had, like, one assignment where, like, the teacher assigned us two things, and one was, like, a super, like, a super interesting. It was about, like, some dude's, like, like identity crisis about his heritage. Well, he, he had everything figured out. I'm having an identity crisis about my heritage, but we don't have to talk about that. Uh, but, yeah, and I, I thought that was super interesting. And meanwhile... Uh, the other one was just, like, some, like, here's something with historical significance, and I was like, uh, and I, I was like, teacher, can you give me some things to look up about one of my things that you assigned me? And she's like, oh, you mean, okay, I'll give you more information on the one that isn't the, and I'm like, no, it's the history one, because, like, I don't care about its historical significance. I, I like art with stories behind it. Upside down, upside down, and up and down. Left side, left side, right, left, right, up, down, you and me. Mm -hmm. I went a while without singing. <laughs> I have to sing when I hear things. I'm weird. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's not that good, to be perfectly honest, but at least, yeah, it... <laughs> Uh, cause I want the- I like how it- I'm sorry that I'm spending so long on just, like, a few drawings. Um. I- No, it's funny I've been doing karaoke with friends, and apparently I actually am getting better at singing. Cause one person in my friend group is, like, actually fucking incredible, <laughs> and then- then there's me, like, singing fucking Miku songs while- Like, one of my friends just straight up sounds like a Disney princess. Dancer about dance so silly, yeah. I'm just going through the playlist of 2D MVs and projects that guy because I don't want to deal with random recommendations. I don't like how its front wing looks. That's like how I draw raised wings. Present. 
here's the secret to singing is that you don't have to be good at it. <laughs> you know, the one Tumblr post where it's like, karaoke is not about singing good. It's about hearing someone fight for their life while trying to sing a song. <laughs> like, like we, we did, I haven't actually seen Encanto, but we did like, since there were a lot of us, we decided, let's do, we don't talk about Bruno, and we were each assigned a character, and the funniest shit happened when the person who was, like, the, I think Isabella is her name, like, when it was his turn, we were all like, go up, go up, go up, go up! Because <laughs> you forgot, it was his part, because he didn't see the movie, I haven't seen the movie either. You can draw, you draw birds? Oh, you innocent soul, I draw birds all the fucking time! <laughs> You haven't seen my folder of dinosaur artwork. Actually, I don't have a folder. Uh, you fool! You are, this is not a bird, but it looks like a bird. You fool! You other fool! You absolute fool! Fool! This is mostly dinosaurs. A lot of this art I haven't shown before. Congrats, you gotta see it. More dinosaurs I didn't show off ever. Here's some human fruity peacocks. New the streamers are- thank you. There's a Hoatzin. Uh, It's a I never showed off. <laughs> really cool school assignment. Oh, that's the shitty version of that drawing. I have one with shading. I don't know where it is. Uh, another really cool school assignment that I intended to post but didn't. I can't tell my signature. Bird. Yeah, I kind of like birds. <laughs> Specifically, I like dinosaurs. Oh, I need to show you guys. Minori spotted. Yep. Practicing my singing. I just like singing songs for. Yeah, I like singing. I want to get better at singing. Because, like, my friends said I'm improving. So, like, that makes me happy and makes me want to try harder. More. More. So, I'm trying to find this one drawing. I don't know if I have it on here. At one point, I considered trying to make VTuber avatars. Not for myself, but just for whoever. I was thinking I would sell it. So I made a VTuber based on a Hoatzin, but VTube, like, rigging. How many birds? Too many birds? There is never enough birds. So, uh, so I did, I think it didn't transfer to my new computer. Uh, so, uh, I was thinking, like, oh, I can sell this once I'm done with it, but, uh, since the, like, VTuber rigging software murdered the shit out of my computer, I never ended up actually finishing it. I did make some progress. I think I showed it off on Discord a few times. Yeah. I mean, I've rigged things for, like, animation before, and it's less painful. Let's see, I can have, like, Discord closed so it doesn't, like, murder my computer. From... What happened to the... Okay, I found... Yeah, I remember that something bird-themed, yeah. It's specifically based on a bird called a Hoatzin. And let me show you, so I don't have the actual file with me, but I have this. So... I haven't actually saved to the stream drawing once it Yeah, actually the whole now I look at the whole body of that bird looks like shit. I might just draw the uh the head, but yeah, so 
yeah, so... I never finished it, but I do really like this character design. So, here's some fun details. So, red hair is from Hoatzins have little red bits on their hair. I really like this scarf because Hoatzins have this, like, pattern on their feathers there. And I think it's a really good representation. Like, taking little bits from the animal. I like these little, like, shoulder guards because they're, like, kind of wing-shaped. And what I like about Hoatzins is they're... Hoatzins are basically the closest dinosaur b birds to dinosaurs because they still... Uh, dinosaurs, their arms turned into wings. But Hoatzins still have hands, which other birds don't. So you can see his little feathered cuff. And you can also see this... I have a shaded version somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I have it on me. Oh, I do have the shaded version where um, you can see a, some nice shading on that. I'm really proud of because uh, they only have two fingers. So you can see he has this little armor on only two of his fingers with these like cool nails. Uh, these are supposed to be like its tail feathers. And this is a banger design I did nothing with. Also, originally he had even more makeup because um, it's kind of wild. Yeah, it's, it is fucking wild. Uh, originally, I gave him more makeup because Hoatzins have, like, a lot of, like, blue around their faces, and I thought giving him heavy makeup would be, like, a really interesting character design choice. Then I remembered. I'm always a door bird inspired. Same. I love things inspired by animals. So, the problem I ran into is I'm like, oh, my original plan with this was to sell it. And I'm like, how many dudes, how many dudes are looking for a VTuber avatar with, like, a bunch of makeup on it? Like, there are some, but not as much as people who are just looking for a cool anime dude. Um, you guys all follow me, which means you guys are down for my fucking character designs, but I don't, I don't know if it appeals to absolutely everyone. <laughs> um, I really like it. Yeah, I really like this design. I was cooking so hard. Make mushroom necks. I could try to make a human much. Okay, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm about to delete 80% of this drawing because 80% of it is ass. So I'll just... I saved a backup of the liner. Yeah, I'm spending a long time on not that many actual drawings. I'm just telling y'all about all the shit I've drawn. Committed a murder on live stream. Sometimes you gotta do that. Uh, like, actually, what's really funny is something that's happened more times than, like, not often, but sometimes, is... When I draw my comic and I'm half paying attention, sometimes I'll draw the wrong outfit on the character. It doesn't happen super duper often, but it's happened often enough that I, like, can remember a few times where I just drew the wrong ass outfit. I always take pictures because I intend to- what app do I use? Clip Studio Paint. My really old art like this you can see on the side uses Fire Alpaca, which is free. And if you want a free art program, Fire Alpaca is great. If you want a paid art program, Get Clip Studio because it's a one-time purchase. I'm about to show Clip Studio to you. It's because it's good. Uh, Clip Studio, like, earned my money. While, like, when somebody talks about... Here's the way I put it. Nobody who has bought Photoshop goes like... You know when you buy something and you're like, I am perfectly okay with the fact that my money went to this. Nobody says that about fucking Photoshop. Everyone hates having to spend money on Photoshop every year because it's a dumb subscription service. Well... No Denown Fire Pocket? Yes. If you want free art program, use that, because it's basically, it's literally just Photoshop. <laughs> it's Photoshop, but without a $50 billion paywall. Photoshop's kind of ass. It takes, like, nine years to open up, which pissed me off. But yeah, Fire Alpaca, the only downside is it doesn't have as many brushes, but, like, so Clip Studio also has a really good comic editor. Which I like, and also you can animate in it. But, like, overall, my beginner choice for people who are, like, not ready to commit. Because you don't want to, like, buy 
Oh yeah, also stalk the sh stalk the shit out of Clip Studio. Hello, new beer like rock. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream chat. So the thing about uh what I was saying before, uh Clip Studio goes on sale often, so if you are considering buying Clip Studio, stalk the shit out of their website, because sometimes it will get a, you'll get a really good deal, and I absolutely recommend just stalk the shit out of their site. Like open it up every so often if you want to buy it. Because you'll get some fucking good deals if you do it. I wish I learned about CSP when I was drawing in Photoshop. Yeah. I mean, I used to draw in Photoshop. <laughs> People talk about, like, talking about their job applications. Free browser Photoshop in some years. Yeah. My, my, I remember recently I was applying to something. And my mom is like, why did you put Photoshop experience as, like, not much, and I'm like, well, I used it years ago, and she just said, so put it at maximum and say, it used to be my drawing, well, actually, I was the one who was like, okay, I'll put it as used to be my drawing uh, thing of choice, even though uh, used to means, like, first year of high school only. But yeah, Photoshop's kind of ass. Like, I would even recommend Fire Alpaca if you want a Photoshop alternative, even just for, like, making shit posts. Photoshop just isn't worth it, and it's really laggy. Uh, not that- You gotta try Photoshop? Don't. Don't. Photoshop's bad. <laughs> oh, hey, Dr Dreamy Ink, welcome to the chat! Yeah, Clip Studio. Get Clip Studio. It's a one-time purchase. Uh, so you don't have to worry about, you know, forking over money every year. That being said, I still have to fork over money to Adobe because After Effects is really good. Avoid the Adobe subscription as long as you possibly can, or hope that your if your school gives it to you for free, take advantage of it. Because a lot of schools give you Adobe for free. Like, uh, ask like your school, do they give you Adobe for free? Because a lot do. And Adobe animates pretty good. Uh, After Effects is really good, and draw Shoko ko me. Who's that? Shokumomi. I- let me- I don't know. I'm not gonna draw things. I don't know what they are. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Sorry. I thought you meant Shoka from 20 for- Why did I say 20? The world ends with you. Whenever I see the TW, I always read it in my f head. I read it as 20. Oh yeah, I've heard about that too. Uh, thankfully, my college pays for Adobe, so I can just leech off of them. You know what they don't give us for free, though? The Industry Standard Animation Program! Ha 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 ha! I had to fork over money for Tim Bum. Yeah, traditional art's also good. I have a Copic marker addiction. I blame that Project Sekai artist who draws with, um with Copic markers, who did, like, the flyway to DMV for making me become addicted to Copics again. It is expensive! I know! It's, we're all- <laughs> I'm addicted to them! They're so good! But I think I'm, like, really happy with my collection of Copic markers. I've never seen that. Uh, I'm addicted- uh, I have a really good collection. Uh, no, what was funny is the other day my friend and I were at, like, an art store, and- they had, like, Copics for us to use, and we were just doodling shit on, like, the, on the, like, sample paper, because that's what artists do at art stores. We have to vandalize. That's the, that, the number one rule is you must vandalize. Uh, and he was, like, drawing Luffy, and he was like, what colors do I use for this? He's like, what color do I use for skin? And I'm like, oh, E00. And then I'm like, what does it say about me that, like, on the top of my head, I know the fucking number name of the fucking brush? It's because I have to buy E00 refills because I use it a lot. <laughs> there we go. There's the bird. I did names commissions with Copics and it was really refreshing. Yeah, Copics are so much fun. Draw Hatsune Miku. I can add that to the list. Any like specific- My audio cut? Is my audio back? Is my audio fine right now, guys? I 
I know it was glitching at the start of the stream. My audio's fine? Okay. Actually, let me show you a really overpowered thing I have saved on the- from the- it's back? Okay, audio's fine. Let me show you a really overpowered thing. It's this thing you can find on the Eclipse Your Ass Store. It's called Change Line Color. Watch. Holy fuck magic. I don't know why I did so much detail on this drawing. <laughs> oh, that's a bird. This is such a bird-shaped bird. I love bird-shaped birds. I like fantasy animals that just look like they could exist. That's why I always put, like, all those, like, random biology details in my shit. Okay, let's see what's next on the request list. Who was the person who recommended I draw Shirashian being scared? I'm checking if the person is still in chat because I... So who was the person who requested uh, a scared on Project Sekai? Nay? Okay. Rob's my next one will actually be a doodle. <laughs> yeah, I recommend something I'll add to the list. But yeah, for the requests, by the way, something I mentioned is I'm probably only going to draw them if I know what the thing is. Let's see. I'll do- I actually haven't drawn on new design yet, despite it being, like, super good. I have Claydemori. I don't really feel like drawing it. <laughs> Whoever invented those, like, web whenever images, I'm coming for you. Fan- have I ever drawn Rin with the side bow? I think I have before, but I can add Rin to the- Like, actually, have I ever shown you guys, um, uh, that, uh, I submitted something to that one Project Sekai co art contest? I didn't win, obviously, otherwise you guys would probably fucking know. Uh, I didn't- I didn't place at all. <laughs> but, uh, for the Halloween cost contest, I did submit a drawing of More More Jump. Uh, I was surprisingly one of the only more more jump submissions. Uh, I would- I think the winner- the winners were mostly things that drew all group. I did see one that, like, was all, um, one show. Uh, sorry that I keep getting distracted, y'all. <laughs> I've been streaming for, like, over an hour and I've done three drawings. But I've also told you guys about my creative process, which is pretty neat. This is like a VOD that's probably interesting to watch afterwards, which is good. But MMJ is the best, even if they're not popular. So this one. Uh, so you can see I get this one was for the Halloween cost test. I did not win. This is the crappy compressed version from Twitter. So I also really like these designs. Uh Mathis Fire Emblem. Uh let me remember who that is. <laughs> Mathis Fire Emblem. <laughs> that fucker. Um so like, I have Haruka with a candy pumpkin. Inori, I made her a little devil just because it's cute. Ren is, like, a fox wolf thing. I really like her pose, by the way. It's so nice. I love this pose. Uh, Miku's, like, a doll. I don't know if that's super obvious. I, I just wanted to draw a gothic Lolita outfit. Let's be real. I really like the colors, though. I love that shade of blue. I raise a vampire because she has fangs, and you know me. I have to draw the fangs, and... Shizuku is a witch because of her Mithmo Reborn. And if I had a nickel for every year I drew more and more jump for Halloween, I would have two nickels, which is not a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Anyway, yeah, I didn't win. <laughs> they should do more art contests. Satan is the best 
I, I keep seeing pictures of Satan Puyo Puyo, and I keep going, that is the world's most The Dragon Girl 27 character design I have ever seen. Single-handedly kind of makes me want to play Puyo Puyo, just because I'm like, that is the most Dragon Girl character I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> he, has, he looks like a character designed by me! You know, like, I should draw him. Even if I haven't played Puyo Puyo, I think that's like the one thing I would consider. Edgy, twink, of course, who, who do you think you're talking to? And he has long hair and horns and wings. It's like the world's most dragon girl design. I see him because I see what uh, Ellie puts on my Tumblr dashboard. How I can... <laughs> Funny thing about the Zero art style, it is literally just my normal art style, and I've never considered it different from my normal art style, which is really funny. Let's see. Let's give her a really funny face. I haven't been shitposting enough. Puyo Puyo Trust just is amazing. Eku tastes good. I don't think I have... How are your thoughts on the 72... What is that referring to? Are you secretly- Oh my god. People's genders are valid, get over it. <laughs> and every time we you complain, we add five more. Your Ellie on the Discord server- Oh, the other Ellie! <laughs> uh, Ink here is Ellie on my own Discord server. The Ellie's collide. That is confusing, yeah. <laughs> Let's skip. Oh my god. Are you. So, are you actually here to, to uh, be on topic, or are you gonna be like. Soon, at this point, it's annoying. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, Ellie's are spreading. Soon we'll- No, it's really funny because- <laughs> Ellie's are taking over. Soon we will all become Ellie. I love this outfit for the new on design, by the way. It's so drippy. This is only the beginning. <laughs> Holy shit, no, no, there's two of them! What's next? The other 26 Dragon Girls? The Ellie Girl 26. <laughs> if I still remember, I might change my, uh, I might change my name on my ser my own server. I love doing funny, over-exaggerated faces like this. The stream is still going? Yep. We'll be going for a while, probably. Until I get exhausted, which isn't yet, considering that I've made- I've done so many requests. And definitely- I would recommend, by the way, guys, after the stream is over, I do actually have a lot of interesting things to say about uh, my creative process, which I think is interesting. Uh, I don't know how much- the princessification of the server. God, the dragon, dragon slayer server lore. For drawing Saki and Rana because they're accidentally similarity. Let me add that. Rana, 
and sucky. The new pipeline. Be beware the Dragon's Lair pipeline. You are not leave. You are not leaving Dragon's Lair. Uh, the same you enter. <laughs> this one turned out nice. Something I like doing that I've been doing more recently is having like the expressions like go into their eyes. I do it a lot when I draw Ray from my comic because he doesn't have like highlights in his eyes, which means his range of expressions is like more limited than uh than like characters who actually have highlights in their eyes. So I exaggerate his expressions a lot more. And that's just sort of bled into my art in general because Ray is uh, obviously peak design. So I'm gonna keep her hair layer alone there. Uh, the, so the, yeah, but, God, how long? God, we've all fucking, we've all fucking been in this server for ages. <laughs> no, it's funny, I remember I made the server... There's some deep lore in the server. I made it in middle school, and now I'm in fucking college, man. I genuinely don't know where I would be now if I didn't have my own Discord server. Time passing negative, yeah. Yeah, I haven't- I feel like my content has changed a lot recently. That's like one for Fear Your Life, let's see. Uh, I'm 19 right now, and so yeah, that might be true. I mean, I've had this YouTube channel for like six or seven years, so yeah. Yeah, the passing of time, man. It's been nine months since I've done a live stream. I had a chance to do one before, but I didn't because I was busy. I I need to... Here's the thing is... here. Remember my drawing a Vocaloid song every day? The first year I did that, it was amazing. But then this year, I was so fucking busy during December. I feel like if I do... I want to do it next year, though, because it's really fun. So I think I might do it during January next year. Because December, I had, like, a lot of schoolwork to work on. In January, I would probably be open more. The other thing, mistake I made is that the first time I did it, I was two days ahead. So, like, I would be, like, this is day 17. And it would actually, I, would, it, I would actually be, like, caught up to, like, day 20 of drawings. And I didn't do it this time because I got, like, overloaded with work. America. Yeah, America is scary. <laughs> but I'm stuck here forever because this is where all the animation jobs are if I want to get paid. If I don't want to get paid, I and I, I got not terrible at my Nihongo Desu, I, I could... But uh, unfortunately, they don't pay you to animate in Japan, even though the animation is generally more my style there. So, I'm just stuck in Los Angeles forever. Because this is where all the fucking animations jobs are. I joined the Discord, but... Yeah. If you want to join the Discord, you can make a Discord, I don't know. Yeah, no, being an animator is suffering. Ha ha ha, the job hunt is t treating me so well, guys. I love hunting for animation jobs. It's so much fun, and, uh, and, like, I went to, like, a job fair recently, and at least two of them were asking for unpaid animation interns. I love being an animator. Oh, hey, Pit, welcome to the chat. Don't mind me complaining about animation. <laughs> I don't know about Discord today. Well, yeah, I have a Discord server link in. Every time I, d it's kind of a thing. Anytime I do a stream, we get an influx of users, and like two of them will stay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have a Discord. Yeah, I, I'll get paid an exposure. I know. I get all those exposure points to pay my bills. As we all know, artists live off of exposure. No, I actually have had people. Animation is work sounds like hell. I can't imagine myself doing anything else. I love, I love animating. But here's the thing: uh, is I'm good enough at animating to be impressive. I'm not good enough to get a job, though. And like the thing about animation, also, I've been thinking for a while. Doing animated commissions sounds fun because, aside from getting money, it's really fun doing commissions. Like being able. This is gonna sound super sappy. I I like doing commissions because I know I'm making artwork that's making somebody else happy. And I feel like I'm doing the good in the world, you know? I mean, recently I... For... Yeah. Character design... Are, apparently, my, my teachers say that character design is really hard to get a job in because everyone wants to do it. Uh... Yeah, again, an art job in general is difficult. <laughs> but yeah, I've wanted to do animation commissions, but like, I'm like, how do I even market that? And also, here, this is so weirdly specific. I, I, I don't know how much to charge for an animation, and the problem is either A, I get ripped off, or B, the client gets ripped off, and when we do it, it the problem is like, we're both gonna have to know the fact that somebody could very easily be overpaying or underpaying. But, I don't know, if I find enough, I would love to do animated commissions, though. I, I feel like animating, like, music videos or, like, intro-outro segments for, like, streamers, that sounds like so much fun. It sounds like it would be really fucking fun, and also an opportunity to animate something that, like, isn't a thing. Because, like, it's fun to step out of my comfort zone sometimes. A lot of my commissions are things that I wouldn't draw normally, but I actually like doing that. I think it's fun. I gotta, like, mess around. Like, sometimes I gotta design characters for people. I love doing that, like, recently. Uh, one you can find that's, like, recent on, like, my social media that I posted. I don't post- I should post more of my commissions. I did, like, a commission for, like, a D&D campaign. And I just gotta design a bunch of characters, and it was super fucking fun. I love doing commissions. Yeah. It's on my bucket list to do, like, something for a music video. There we go. We got scared on. <laughs> like, on my bucket list is, like, music video animation. I, I would I would cry if somebody offered me that. I respect that. Yeah. yeah doing things for other people's fun. I've seen... I've seen, like, some people, uh, like complain online about having to do commissions and I find it funny because it's unless like you're in a very desperate situation it is a voluntary thing I do commissions because I have fun doing them and also because I make money but uh if I if I would like sacrifice like having a good time to make money I would have a normal job the animation flows and meshes with the beat and rhythm so awesome I know I wanted to go down the line of animation, but found it wasn't for me. That is the thing about animation. It's good you figured out now, because, like I said, a lot of people discover they don't actually like animation. I think there's, like, a type of crazy you have to be to like animation. So, like, that's totally valid. Because a lot of people, like, a lot of people end up dropping out because they realize that animation isn't for them. Like, I think my favorite praise one of my teachers gave me recently is, so I'm taking a 3D class, so, hey, Dragon Girl learns 3D, how fucking cool is that, guys, finally! Uh, and I'm actually having more fun than I expected, and I, so we're doing a lot of 3D modeling, and my teacher noted that I keep, like, animating my models, and he's like, damn, you really like animating, and I think about that a lot. I, I like that that's my teacher's, uh, that's how he sees me, I think that's so cool. Like, hell yeah, I like animating! I'm like here, like as we're talking about animation flowing to a song, like uh, crazy for Project Sekai playing in the background. I'm like, oh yeah, the beats on this man. I want to do an animation to wave because that one has beats. Hey, C R A Z Y. Hey. 
nice job. I realized I didn't enjoy it, so I stopped. I kind of did because everyone did it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's important to... Not, yeah, with creativity, you gotta do what you enjoy. Especially, I think for, like, your personal projects, always do things you like to do. I can save animating what I'll need to for when I have an actual job. La -li -li -la 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 -li -la. Fun fact, one of my most viewed speed draws is the one for Crazy, and I do not know why. That drawing's, like, pretty average and doesn't have any interesting competition composition or anything. There we go. <laughs> This one's good. I like this. Why is it 50 layers, though? Let's see. What's next on the list? Who was the one who said Tamara Fire Emblem? Diego Brando? Yes, I will do Diego Brando. Yes, let me add that to the list. I've been rereading, uh, I've been rereading part seven. <laughs> So who was the person who said Tamara Fire Emblem? Are you still in chat? Like I said, I'm making sure that people are in chat because I don't want to draw these if they're not in chat. The person who asked for Tamara left, game. All right, let's see what's next on the list because I want to prioritize. It was Hedgehogs, I think. Okay. If we say had to in chat again, we'll ask. So the next one is from... No, Tamara is kill. Yeah, rip. Unless you guys... Um, do you guys want me to draw her? It's Tim over. <laughs> I'll draw her. I need to finish Engage already. I just got fucking deja vu. I'm not for familiar with Fire Emblem, gonna lie. I've played all the Fire Emblem games, unfortunately. I still need to finish Engage. <laughs> Let's see, what should I draw her doing? Let's see. Ah, uh, fuck AI, man! I'm just like looking up pictures of her and there's a bunch of AI bullshit. See ya, Ellie! Alright. Game Boy Color? <laughs> Is that like the bootleg one? Let's see, what's it, what's it? Probably go to AIL, but the LE separate! The universe is gonna end! I'm trying to play the little though. Yeah. Fuck AI. You know what? I'm gonna. Should, should I? This has nothing to do tomorrow. Should I have her say fuck AI? This has absolutely nothing to do with her. Yes. Yeah. Remember, guys, how earlier I said I keep track of every Vocaloid song I find on Spotify? I lied. I ignore anything with AI art. If you cannot be bothered to get proper art for your song, why the fuck should I be bothered to listen to your song? God, I love the the Mika Picasso designs have grown on me. I'm like noticing all the things in her hair, and I'm like, oh my god, that is so Mika Picasso. Dang, dragon fake fan. AI voices as well. Yeah, fuck them. Cause like AI voices just always sound like shit. Also. 
like when they're singing it's so like obvious that it's an ai you make a youtube poop or an utau voice bank like god intended nothing nothing you ai bros will make will ever be anything like more shoe singing gangster's paradise you don't understand Yeah. Now, one of my big regrets, honestly, is I have a few vid- Before, like, AI became an issue, I have a few videos on my channel that use AI voices, and I considered if I should delete them or not. The thing is, they are, like, animated and stuff. Maybe I could ask, like, actual voice actors to do voice- That's actually a great idea! I should- I should get voice actors to do an actual voiceover of that, and then, uh, re-upload them without AI. Uh... Yeah, I should think about doing that, because I'm already in contact with a bunch of people who can do voices for other things I've done. Dragon Solutions, yeah. Yeah, because I still want to- because I still like the animation on those, uh, but fuck AI voices, I don't want anyone to think I support them anymore, because, like, you know, it was the same with AI art. At first it was, like, a funny tool, but now it's, like, actually an issue. So yeah, I'll, I'll ask my Discord friends uh, if they want to do a, a voiceover of that like Project Sekai video I did, because I know uh, a lot of people who could probably do that. Someone write that down. <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect solution! And it's a great way to say fuck you to AI. I know at least one uh, Discord server where a lot of, a lot of the... Uh, that's full of a lot of, like, aspiring, because it's for a, like, fan dub thing that I'm in. Well, I'm not, I'm not in it. There, there is one fan dub I am in. I love Yang, but I haven't done in a while. I'm not confident anymore. It's just, it's just a shit post. You don't have to, if you want to try for it, you don't have to be, uh, amazing. You can just live life knowing that your, your voice acting is going to be better than AI. And as long as there's people who think AI can be... Yeah, fuck AI. Yeah, I can't believe I never thought of that. That is so genius. Let me see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who knows? Maybe you can be... Maybe you can be that thing where... <laughs> The one image where it's, like, Neku from The World Ends With You and, like, the only voiceover roles you've done is, like... The, the, the one image where it's, like... those All those images about... You are better than AI. I want you all to know that you're better than AI. Yeah, it would be real. Like, actually, one thing that's super funny is the voice of Zero in my, uh, for my webcomic comic dub that's finally making progress again, by the way. Uh, it also did a voice in, like, one of my, uh, old ass shit posts. And I think that's really fucking funny because he went from being Freddy Fazbear to, uh, like, in, like, a, just, like, a shit post to main villain of my, uh, webcomic, because he just has the range to do that. <laughs> See, her head's a little disproportionate. I drew her hand. Yep. Yeah, the, they. A lot of times I'm the they don't know blank thing. Uh, I don't think he's in the. Uh, um, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I think the voice of Edo is. I think the voice of Edo is in that uh, one video.
It's funny how things work out. I, I sometimes think a lot about, like, how a lot of my internet friends I stumble upon in the weirdest ways. Like, if Pitt's still in chat, I remember I just, like, commented, like, on a random-ass video of his, and, like, now he's been in my server forever. <laughs> Or, like, there's some people where I just, like, joined random-ass servers, and then, like, suddenly I make internet friends. It's kind of interesting to think about how the world works like that, you know? Let's see, I think I might need to make her line art darker, otherwise her skin's gonna look weird. I always like having slash servers... I'll add that to my list. Edo doing, don't forget. I could do zero doing that. Yeah, there's a lot of internet friends I've made through like the most random of ways. <laughs> you can you can run, but you can't hide. Dragon Slayer will find you all the same. Skill issue. Mara should be allowed to say fuck. Yeah, it's kind of like, for example, like one of the servers I joined was a domino effect to me wanting to make the comic dub. Uh, which is kind of funny. Or, like, that and, like, reading some random manga that had an official dub and I was, like, like an official- There's this one manga, it's really good, y'all should read it, it's called, like, The Summer Hikaru Died, and on YouTube they have, like, an official, like, voiceover version, it's in Japanese, uh, but, uh, I think that's really cool and I want- I was, like, nothing's stopping me from doing that myself. See, I might need to darken her line art even more so that the ribbon- actually, never mind, the ribbon looks fine. Anyway, I better go to sleep, cause, uh, quarter will over. Alright, see ya! Mika Picazo, you saturated colors. My weakness. Yeah, see ya. I always use muted colors, and like now I'm like I'm like ah, I gotta use the saturated. Let me see her her orbs the same one like her other. Fun fact, by the way, uh, the Mika Picazo has done art for Project Sekai, so if I had a nickel for every main Fire Emblem artist who also did art for Project Sekai, I would have two nickels, because she did the um, artwork for um, uh, uh, the first One Show album. Uh, and then Hidari, who was the main artist for uh, Echoes, did the Gekyo MV. Yeah, no, I remember, like, you can find, like, the messages probably on my server when, like, a low-quality version of the Gekyo MV was, like, like the, like, low-quality version that's in the game. And I was like, no fucking way, that's Hidari, I know that's Hidari, I know that's Hidari, and then I, like, look at like the barely visible credits and then I'm like, yeah, that is Hidari! I grasped it! 
I guessed it, holy shit! Hidari art, my beloved. Hidari also designed a Vocaloid, he designed Mayu. Which is also a really well designed Vocaloid, my OC. Uh, Jade's design is inspired by Mayu. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Gekyo MV is Hidari. That's why the art style is familiar. It's so good. I love Hidari's style. Like, I think everyone agrees that Hidari is the best Fire Emblem artist. The Mika Picasso's art is like the opposite of what mine is. It's really impressive. So that's that's a close one. I love the art of Mika because fantasy. There's actually that's actually for an album. There's uh you can see artwork of like a lot of Vocaloids in the fantasy outfits. It's really cute. So yeah. I don't think this highlight looks particular. I think I need to make her hair darker. God damn it, Mika Picasso, your colors are my bane of existence! Oh, 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 that looks good. That looks- holy shit, yeah. We are cooking. We are cooking tonight. See, maybe I can- see. You can tell that I'm fighting against my urge to use desaturated colors. I really like the Thracia art style as well. That's another one. It's kind of underrated, but I I like how like the, a little bit of, like the environment is drawn on all the character arts. I think that's really interesting. And if I was better at backgrounds, I would do that myself. Do it, Palpatine. Tamira is the anti jerk. I think Mika Picasso in general, her designs are so saturated. Like Alier, like I'm pretty sure is like all the way in like this section. I can do it. I believe in myself. Should be that one. I think this is trust the process, trust the process. <laughs> I love this drawing. I love how, how silly her face is, and then she's just fucking flipping you off. Let's see if I can get the little- I love- I love eyes with like weird little things in them. I eat that shit up. Yeah, I heard of that. It's sad. Right, Thracia art is like really underrated. I really like it. <laughs> I think this is gonna make this even better, this- Oh, I forgot her eyelashes. How could, how could, how could the Dragon Girl Twenty Seven forget to draw cool eyelashes? Who even am I? <laughs> that makes me. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. Yeah, it really sucks that they didn't get full body art. I think Tamara has it. The thing is, like, Mika Picasso's art is so, like, chaotic that I don't think it's a good reference picture. Like, I remember Fates specifically. Like, how, like, people were so desperate for, like, official art. We have, like, the four comas, I think. I think this one eyelid is too high up. Yeah, there was like full arts of fate from the four coma. Y'all remember the four coma? A really, really awful dub of it. it was one of my first videos to get views. Let's see, she has like color around her eyes as well. Yeah, one second.
Okay, sorry about that. The face artist is, yeah, I think it's the same as the uh, Awakening one. Also, I was just Googling this. Looks like her concept art should, let's see. At least we have like full like artwork in the form of that. I wish more things would re reveal their like reference sheets. Reference sheets are so nice. I wish more things would show those off. Yeah. I think that artist has done some other things as well. I'm like trying to remember. I don't think this is lore accurate to exactly which little orbs she has wear on her hair, but we're not going to worry about that. Alright, let's add some highlights and then we get to add the Mika Picazo sparkles. Yeah, I, I'm like trying- I feel like that artist has done something else I'm familiar with, but I don't remember what it is. God, remember when this was a Fire Emblem channel? That was, that was years ago, man. I still have, like, it's really funny when people who learn about me through Project Sekai, like, are like, oh, you like Fire Emblem? And I'm like, I, I'm like, I have a playlist of hundreds of Fire Emblem shit posts. What's that? Put a layer on top to do a lot of these details. What's fun about this being sketches is I can like do all the details on another layer like this instead of having to worry about line art. Oh, I forgot the little things. On We're just going to ignore those. It's looking too good for <laughs> magic. Yeah, heroes. Is I think I remember I was actually the other day. I don't know which character it is. Not the other day. It was a long time ago. I was like looking at whoever did the Utsu Wo Gu artwork for Project Sekai, and I realized, oh. Like, I looked at their Twitter and it was like, Robin Fire Emblem was also there for Fire Emblem Heroes. It might have been, not, I don't remember if it was Robin or not. It's Robo Project Sekai fans in the chat, how are we feeling? Toya finally is getting his fourth fucking event. It only took them over like a year. We're finally getting the fourth Toya song. Well, speaking of, uh, Toya Project Sekai Fragile just came on. How far into the play- or is the playlist on Shuffle? It's probably on Shuffle, because that was like- Oh no, this is the Len version, that's why. Alright, hopefully whoever suggested this- I actually caught this one live while it was premiering at like 2am. You could probably see me screaming in the chat. I feel like- Mika Pika's artwork, you need, like, something like this. Let's see. God, I'm too much of a coward to use, like... Yeah, let's do this. The orange one works better. Heroes are so many artists. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised... Well, like, literally, there you go. The Utsuo Wao Gu MV. I refuse to song call that song hollow. It's not even what it translates to. At least it's not uh, what Gek happened to Geku Kujo. There we go. That's great. Yeah, that one's a really good one. I did it. I used saturated colors. Oh, 
Oh, that's another thing that could probably be on my bucket list for, like, commissions. Is, like, freelance getting to do, like, something for, like, a gacha game or something. I don't know why. That just sounds super fun. Retainers planting its lore. Yeah! What is the What is that name? No, I saw, like, on the Vocaloid wiki, they had, like, an alternate translation where they just called it Overthrow. And that's just... Why would you not just call it Overthrow? That's a cool name! Instead of, like, instead of just, like, calling it, like, either call it Gekakujo or Overthrow, those are both fine names. If something, like, not, like, use, there's a lot of times where people who must call something by its Japanese name are silly. That being said, it, like, I, I'm not catching you calling it, yeah, Overthrow is so much better. I'm not catching you calling it Retainer Supplementing its Lord. If, if, not to be Kikaiku means plan, but maybe if there isn't a good, easy translation, you can just leave it untranslated. Or overthrow! That's a fine translation! Like, it's not as specific, but it's a fine translation. Alright, Tamara, who's next on the list? Uh, Rana and Saki, uh, you are still in chat, so. Let's do Rana for my comic and Tema Saki. They would be friends. They would get along. Let's draw them, like, vibing together. Like, I feel like there's so- there's, like, a, like, sliding chart where some things are, like, bet- it makes more sense with their Japanese names, and some things it makes more sense with their English names. Like, uh, if I catch you calling, like, let me think... Reincarnation of- Uh, let me think. Like, there's some, like, if you call Daughter of Evil, Daughter of Evil, or Akuno Musume, you're fine. But if you call Servant of Evil, like, Akuno Metsu, whatever the fuck, you're a clown. Let's see, what should... Let's have them just having a good day together. They would. I would like to do a random quest. Uh, tell me right now so I can add it to the list. I have a notepad open. Let's see, this one's Rana. Let's have them shopping. They would do that together. In the modern AU, Rana would, like, fuck it. Yeah, Servant of Evil has a Jap- Oh yeah, you know what's really funny though? Most Mafi songs have like, official English names and all of them are bad. I'M NOT CATCHING YOU CALLING TAYLOR ON IMBENZINKA LEVIATHAN SLOPE. WHAT IS THAT NAME? Mafi. I get that you're trying to be clever, but they are all bad. Even like, Regret Message, that song's name is in English, even in Japanese. Regret Message is just- Regret. Modern AOZ. Yeah, modern A is zero real now. Like, if I catch- Like, Regret Message is not even, like, it's not even named something, it's just named Regret Message. Why is it, is it also have, like, it's like Fallen Angel or something, which is a fine name, but, like, Regret Message... Yeah, the Taylor and Imbenzika's official English name is Leviathan Slope. <laughs> it's so bad! That's not- <laughs> Because, like, all the- they're all, like- Because, like, it's the Seven Deadly Sins, so, it, like, they also have, like, I think, uh, Lunacy of Duke Vimonia is, like, Dance with Asmodeus. Uh, Bonic- let's see, Evil Food Eater Conchita is something about Beezlebub. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to learn like this. Yeah, I think it's up there with Master Overthrowing, or Servant Overflowing, it's Lord as, in terms of worst English translations. Yeah, that's what Servant of Evil is. Akunom, I don't know how to pronounce that word, I'm gonna be real. Dragon, you just traumatize someone's life? Yeah. Uh, I forgot what Servant of Evil's official English name is. Let me look it up. 
Let, let's let's just learn together. Let's learn what Moffy. Let's learn what Moffy made Servant of Evil. God, it auto fails to like Servant of Evil by some random co person who made a cover. Fuck off. <laughs> the one picture of like Cosmo from Fairly Odd Parents shaking what whatever this fucking name was, just like his name is Moffy, you swine. Its name is Moffy. His significance of existence. Servant of Evil's official English name is his significance of existence. Moffy! Moffy, please! I accidentally made this effect earlier, I just realized. So, I think, like, Rebirthday also is a song that's, like, the name is in English. It's not like it's named something in, uh, Japanese. It's it's just Rebirthday. Let's, I think that one. Actually, that one's just called Clockwork Lullaby 3. All the, I think all the Clockwork Lullabies are just Clockwork Lullaby whatever. <laughs> Everybody's having a mental breakdown. Let's see. Uh... Judgment of Corruption is Mammon's Court. Sleep Princess is Bellefigor's Gift. Muzzle of Nemesis is... So yeah, it's all Satan's Revenge. That's that's really... That's a funny name. <laughs> Satan's Revenge. Yeah, Leviathan Slope, I think, is the stupidest one. Because, like, at least Satan's Revenge sounds cool. Leviathan Slope sounds fucking dumb. Oh, wait, I have an even worse one. Fun fact, at first, Totomo Itai. So, Totomo Itai. Satan's Revenge sounds like something that, like, some, like, five-year-old made up. Satan's Revenge! Gender-swapped Satan. I need to... I think Pitt recently, like, friended me on Steam, and, like, all my wish list adds the Umi Neko games. I am actually interested in, uh, playing and air quotes them, but I need time. Like, because Umi Neko feels like something that's gonna be, like, a big investment. Because it's, like, a hundred hours or some shit. It's very 90s energy. <laughs> I should draw Nemesis just being, like, with sunglasses, just, like, saying, Satan's Revenge! Oh yeah, but, so, for a bit, they accidentally translated uh, Totomoi Tai, which is, like, the fan translation name for Totomoi Tai is uh, Hurting for a Hurtful Pain, that's a fine name. Um, the English version of Project Sekai said, uh, said, uh, I want to hurt so bad. That was the official English name before it was, like, immediately changed, because that is so dumb. I want to hurt so bad. <laughs> Just look up same point for because I remind me to look them up. And oh god, yes, it literally does look like a character design. Right here. I know it's so funny. That's literally the most Dragon Girl character design I've ever seen in my life, and it single-handedly makes me interested in Puyo Puyo. At one point, I should just, like, break down what's, like, all, like, the dragon girlisms. I'm trying to... Let's do something casual. They're just having a casual good time. Project Sekai AU, zero. Actually, I actually have some really old doodles where I, like, tried drawing some of my OCs as Project Sekai characters. Uh, well, not as characters, as, like, Project Sekai units. So I drew, like, uh, if I remember correctly, I drew, um... I drew Scarlet in a Leonid outfit. I drew Stella in a more more jump outfit. I drew um uh Gray in a vivid bad squad outfit. I drew um Ray in a one show outfit and I drew Yuki in a night court outfit. I think I showed them off like once. 
We're not getting distracted again on this stream. Jason, I wonder what Sukasa would be. <laughs> Sukasa Vincent. No, it's really funny because they're like, why well, I think it's a really, like, unlike this where it's like Saki and Rana are kind of similar vibe wise, <laughs> Vincent and Sukasa are like the opposites. Sukasa is just like a dude who's vibing, and Vincent is like this emo as shit edgelord. I don't know if this looks like Saki or not. Can't remember them, so I guess I got something to search tomorrow. Uh, Vincent is the character in like the newest chapter. He's the blonde one with the wings and the stegosaurus tail. She looks a little like. She looks a little older than she's supposed to, I think that's the thing. I think it's the arms that like make her look a little older. It's like such a weird sentence. This isn't even her casual outfit for a casual outing. Today is not a skirt day, I've noticed. She looks like she has broad shoulders. There they do. How do I fix this? Maybe I should draw her in a casual outfit. I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna delete another drawing. Maybe I'll shove this one to the side. Let's see, where is her... God, I miss transparents. Remember when, when Project Sekai gave us transparents? They should do that again. Let's see what... Is her casual outfit just her school uniform? I'm like, trying to remember her casual outfit. I forgot what it looks like. Live 2D. If I'm not remembering a casual outfit, it might just suck. Yeah, it's because her casual outfit isn't that cool. Her... Okay, I'm just going to shove her to the side and just say... Uh... Bad... Drawing... Yeah, there are Tumblr blogs doing it, but the thing is that the in-game cards have, like, a bunch of shading that makes them look different. Because shading can really impact, like, the color of a thing. So a lot of times the colors are not actually accurate. Like, remember that time that, like, Kanade, like, the first time she wore something that wasn't, like, her normal tracksuit and it just looked like in the... It was, like, a brown outfit, but in, like, the card itself it looks blue. Leonid music's playing in the background right now. Yeah, because for me, the, the plus about transparency isn't like making edits or something, it's having reference pictures. Yeah, lighting is crazy. I do like Project Set Guy's lighting a lot. It's really nice. Like a lot of the new music videos, like God, that newest Leonid 3D MV, it looks so good. It's so good. The Konami Focus song. I forgot what it's called. 
It's like instantly my favorite Leon Yagen V. It's so well made. Let's have her be like more energetic. Yeah, already that face is so much better. It's so much less stiff. Mm-hmm. I assume that your projects, unless you secretly pay projects, that guy's probably just from us screaming about cards in chat. It's funny to think that, uh, spoilers chat is just the fucking projects that guy chat at this point. Now, the Toya set that just re released is another victim of, like, the cards look so good and you see the colors in-game and you're like, oh my god, that's so much worse. Yeah, the cards in Project Sekai are really good, which is good because if they don't look good, then you can't make a successful gacha game. Gacha game art seems like it would be fun to work on, not gonna lie. Like, not just because I'm a Sekai fan, but just in general. I don't know. I like the uh, idol aesthetic, even if a lot of idol things I don't actually like that much. God. Y'all remember when Utsupi had an idol group? I'm so sad they disbanded, and I kind of wish I did fan art for them at some point. Uh, Z-A-S-A-S-Z. -A -A -S -S you should listen to their songs. They are so good. It was like the first time, like, an artist I listened to just, like, straight up said, Oh yeah, we're disbanding, and I was so sad. Their, their music is so good. The last song makes- Their last song they released makes me cry so much. You can see me, like, in the comments, like, screaming, like, ah! <laughs> ah! They're like, Nobody fucking knows them. I think everybody- but, Like, I've been playing more inconsistently. Recently, I did mess around in Sekai yesterday a bit. God, I am looking forward to the Toya event. I'm waiting for that to get translated. Uh, from what I've heard from people, like, reading it ahead of time, it's gonna destroy me emotionally. Yeah. By the way, in the next few chapters, I'm finally gonna get to draw Rana more, and I'm so excited because, oh my god, she is so much fun to draw. She makes the best facial expressions. They're probably buying, like, Gary clothes together. Fun fact, by the way, so you know how Project Set Guy's English translation is kind of all over the place? So... Uh, in, like, Leonid's main story, originally they reference her being a Gyaru, because Saki's supposed to be a Gyaru, uh, because, like, the whole thing is because Saki's in, like, the hospital, so she's, like, wearing outdated fashion. Uh, but in, because, uh, for the English translation, they're like, oh, people don't know what a Gyaru is. They changed the translation to say, she's weird. She has dyed hair. Mind you, one, her hair is naturally like that, and two... Like, Toya's hair is naturally just split in the middle. They don't follow the natural hair color rules. Her hair is not dyed. They're saying she's weird because she's dressed like a gao. Like, you can even just say she dresses funny. You could say she's wearing, like, outdated scrunchy socks or whatever. Yeah, Rei is, like, right there with purple hair with, like, cyan blue streaks. Saki... Saki's, like, hair looks pretty normal. Hi, I'm back. Hi, Blade. <laughs> it is kind of funny. It's a, It might be another victim of... of well, actually, no. Like, usually, where anime, like, pretends that, like, blonde hair, hair is weird while, like, there'll be characters with, like, blue hair and shit. Because... There is a reason, like, because in Japan it's weird to dye your hair. It's more, like, rebellious. But yeah, her hair isn't dyed, it's just like that. Yeah, I always thought that's like a funny translation that nobody ever really talks about. There are something, I guess it is a case of something that culturally cannot be translated, like, one thing that's funny is, one of, this is a fun fact, one of Rui's four comas in like the Japanese version, 
makes like reference to some like random Japanese dude who's like known for being gay, like some gay inventor or some shit. I've never heard of them. Nobody's never heard of him outside of Japan, so they changed that in the translation. But like the joke was originally Sukasa, so like like so Rui was like, oh, I'm just like this one guy, and Sukasa's like, do you want to be compared like that? And the joke was supposed to be haha gay, but they changed it. <laughs> to be fair, I think there is no way to translate that. Showbiz baby, I love that. I miss, I miss showbiz. I miss when the tr- mistranslations were funny, like OMG sweet moves. Now the mistranslations are just sad, and making the game slightly less gay. Yeah, haha, gay. Fun fact: Ray has uh the gay earring. I don't think it's on purpose though. Uh. I think most cases the gay earring is not on purpose. It's still really funny. Oh yeah, never give up cocking! I love that! Never give up cocking! I loved that! That's like the funniest mistranslation they've had in years! Never give up cocking! It was so funny! Penis typo. Literally penis typo in this like and not like a random line of dialogue, in like their announcement thing. Never give up cocking. It's already in English! How do you mistranslate it? Never. <laughs> oh god, we have to explain this to not Sekai fans. Okay, Blade. So, strap in. Uh, so Project Sekai has like... Dragon's voice jump scare. Oh, did my voice crack out? That would be really funny if there was just silence and then never give up cocking. But someone got pro- someone probably got fired for that, yeah. So there was so there's event names, and one of the events was called Never Give Up Cooking because Sekai names are just named like that. Uh some even though it was like spelled in English, it wasn't like spelled in Japanese, it was already never give up cooking in English. And they accidentally, in like one of their like announcement posts for the event for the English version, they made a typo. Instead of never give up cooking, it said never give up cocking. <laughs> and it was the literal funniest shit. Never give up cocking. Penis typo. I find it funny how they mistrans- Sekai sometimes mistranslates things that are already in English, and those are also really funny. Like the Sukasa hey girl speech. The joke is that Sukasa can't speak English well. For some reason, the English version corrects his grammar. When he's like, My name is Sukasa Temma. I am star. Uh, but it's like, my name is Sukasa Tenma. I am a star. The joke is that he can't speak English and that he's like failing miserably and they fixed his grammar for some reason. Like, you can keep the joke in English even with like his grammar being wrong, especially because the voice lines are in English, like bad English, but you know. <laughs> yeah, never give up cocking. Uh, and that one pisses me off. Some of the event name translations, uh, original opinion, I know, but, like, they'll be, like, period of Nocturne. That was spelled in English, it is in English. And they just call it, like, Nocturne Interlude, which is a way less cool name. Yeah, this one's really cute. Yeah, remember, kids, don't ever give up cocking, ever. Rana's definitely taller than her. But, like, I don't want to draw her legs because it would be weird to cut them off. If this was, like, a full drawing, it'd be cute because they also have, like, the same, uh, Gyaru-esque, uh, socks. Nikori? Yeah, uh... Pop in my heart, I believe, was what Nikori was called. Uh, Pop in my heart. Uh, I forgot what the English version of that was. Yeah, pop. I remember what was really funny about popping in my heart is that a lot of people misread it and it looks like it said pooping in my heart. (laughs) Did did Pitt miss the... (laughs) 
Someone on my Discord server just like screenshot everybody saying cocking and put it in the quotes chat. Got her freckles. Okay, weird ass specific confession. One of the people who commissions me the most to draw is OC, who like I contributed to designing. I keep forgetting to draw his freckles, even though that's a detail. I don't know why. It's something I'm really good at forgetting. And every time I'm like, I'm not going to forget this time and I forget. And I'm forgetting it on my own goddamn character. This isn't looking correct. God damn it. I think it's just her mouth is posed weird. Yeah, this one's really cute. I like it. This is the most wholesome thing that's ever been drawn on a Dragon Girl stream. Meanwhile, we're like talk- we're just yelling cock over and over again. I'm gonna get- watch Dragon gets banned from YouTube. Speed run. My footsteps, your fo destination. Here's the thing about my footsteps, your destination. Like, I've, it, it was like what lies ahead, what lies behind. The difference is that wasn't in English. That was the fan translation. So like, the translation is like less like, oh, they did an awful job. Because that was already like a fan translation. So I don't get the drama behind that. It's not like when it was already in English. Let's see, let me erase some of her hair here. What else was translated? I like how they've never fixed OMG sweet moves. It's really funny. Teammate mission yet. Yeah. You can tell whatever fucking song's on by what I'm singing. I was considering actually drawing that as like a backup for like my uh, compilation of dr art based on 2023 songs, but I never did it. Yeah, teammate's really cute. I was thinking of drawing it, but there's just other songs I like more. Unfortunately, paint bucket does not work on these, like, messy sketches. Yeah, more and more jump songs are underrated in general. Like, yesterday I was debating with people on the internet, uh, on Discord, about, like, more and more jump songs. I'm gonna say it, I don't get why Jump More Jump is so popular. It's not a good song. It's an okay song at best. It's, like, the worst version of Paracel Cider. And I think people- I'm gonna say it! I think 80% of the hype it gets is just because of the memes, and it's not a really funny meme. The Takaramoto. The Takaramoto. My favorite- meme involving that is literally a video that's just a compilation of other songs saying takara because it's like the when you learn a new word in Japanese and you hear it everywhere now. Takaramoto. But yeah, like half the more more jump songs are fucking better than jump more jump. I don't get why it's like the more more jump song. It has like 7 million plays on Spotify and it's like more than any or more more jump song and it makes me disappointed. God, think on Spotify. God, remember how we never got On No Beats full? I'm still salty. I'm still fucking salty. We never got a full version of On No Beats. Uh. More More Jumps are shit. I love More More Jump. I feel like they get overlooked by the fandom a lot. But I really like them. I like their. 
more more jump made me think i would like other idol stuff and then i like watched love life and i'm like this is okay at best <laughs> don't read more more jump story it will make you never like other idol things because they're just not as good more more jump is peak idols i can't I don't have room for her eyes her eyes are like shaped like squares i don't know why they just are I like weird shaped eyes. I feel like there's a lot of like character design potential by doing that. Actually, a lot of the most played songs for Project Sekai on Spotify aren't that good. Ifu Dodo isn't good. Y'all are just horny. Anyway, listen to Crazy instead. Crazy isn't actually a good song. Umetora, like. Umetora, I like never listened to like most of his songs, so it's just like, oh, it's the. Uh, Ifu Dodo guy. And then I'm like, oh, these other songs are good. Why didn't you guys tell me his other songs were good? Because they're all just better than Ifu Dodo. Because Ifu Dodo is just kind of an okay song. I like drawing eyes. Yeah, I love drawing eyes. I don't get people who don't like drawing eyes. People will be like, oh my god, I hate drawing eyes so much. And it's like, bro, they're really fun. Like, one thing I love about eyes is I like drawing expressions and emotion. I, I, I That's like my favorite thing to draw is like expressions. If Udo it's not even that if Udodo it's just like, oh it's a horny song so it's bad. It's just not a particularly good song. Like I don't give a shit if something's like sus or not, really, unless it's like I don't like things that are pure shock value, because there's a lot of vocal light songs that only live off of shock value, I'm gonna be real. Uh but like if Udodo is just like an okay song. Also, if you remember when Ifu Dodo was called Popum Circumstance, you deserve a Redoran's discount at this point. I remember. Ooh, I wrote those on my right dragon. Personality 5 for group 3. I was gonna be like, yeah, I'm... <laughs> I don't know what that means, sorry. I have, like, a bunch of personalities hidden away. Don't don't ask the Dragon Girl 27 about dinosaurs. She will not shut the fuck up. If it's like the Vocaloid version, I like my brain goes pomp in circumstance. If it's the Sekai version, my brain thinks Ifu Dodo. It wasn't changed. It's just that people started calling it uh, Ifu Dodo. Every- yeah, it wasn't changed. Uh, <laughs> now there's some song- like, if I catch you calling Infinite Grey close to Grey, even though that's the official translation, I'm, I'm coming for you. The Project Sekai event, so yeah. I feel like there's a lot of people- god, I don't like the people, though, who are like, Sekai fans are ruining Vocaloid when that's object- objectively, Vocaloid is more popular because of Sekai. Like, the, like all the Sekai Next songs- like, those exist because of Sekai. Like, uh, Sekai Next introduced me to Shu. He's underrated. He actually- Oh my god, guys. Shu got one- one Project Sekai Next finally, and I was so excited. I caught it live. Like, the live stream. And then I'm, like, listening, and I'm like, holy shit, Shu won! You can see me go into, like, a bunch of Sekai Discord servers and spam, Shu won! Shu sweep! Finally! 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 Uh, you guys should listen to Shu's music, by the way. It's really good. He retweeted my fan art once. <laughs> that is my flex that I've been noticed by... I've been noticed a few times. Uh, I mean, I guess the one that's, like, most, like, a flex. Uh, otaku... Okay person in chat named Nezuko. Yeah, the second I know Otol stuff, I need to listen to more of it. Uh... Yeah, I love- uh, I think Live P did a song for it, and recently I've been listening to Don't My List Me, and I'm like, wow, this song's, like, actually, like, got a really good beat. I don't know why I never listened to Don't My List Me. I don't know, it just looked like a type of song I wouldn't like. It looked, like, very self-indulgently, like, like, weeby. 
And it is weeby, the lyrics are- This is what I mean when I say, I can ignore weird lyrics just because the song's good. I do still like knowing the lyrics. I don't like people- I don't like people who just never Google the lyrics. I feel like there's a difference between that and just being like, I choose not to- Yeah, who's that in chat? Yeah, Sekai no Oto 2 1. Also, Sekai no Oto is a really cute name. I get the pun. Fun fact it took me like two years to get the fucking pun of uh, Pinocchio's P's uh, song Love It. It's because in Japanese, that's Rabbitu. And it's love it and rabbit. I didn't notice that for years. I'm disappointed in myself. Yeah, I think it's because the pun doesn't translate into English super well, because I literally was just like, I think I was driving, I was listening to the song, I looked at the song's name, and I read it, like, because, like, I think on, like, Spotify it was, like, listed, like, as, like, uh, Katakana, and I just read it to myself, and I was like, holy shit, that's, that, love it, rabbit, holy shit, how did I not notice that? The book with the song, you know? Hey! Pinocchio P moment. Yeah, that's a pun because L and R are the same in R not R uh, B and V are the same in Japanese. So it's uh love it and rabbit. Rare footage of Blade knowing a song. This one's really cute. I really like it. <laughs> it's a little bit of line art over there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Her eyelashes look a little thick. It means a lot to hear Discord. Why am I saying Discord user? YouTube users, the Dragon Girl 27. Oh, I can't feel myself not noticing that. Okay. Alright, see ya. I'm glad I was able to finish uh, your request before you went to sleep. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, I might clean it up a bit, so check in tomorrow. Night. <laughs> I like it when I get requests for my OCs. It makes me feel like a sense of pride. <laughs> A little bit of shading here as well. It's a little distracting if Saki is the only one shading. Hey, Salman, welcome to the um, stream. Just taking random drawing requests, just finishing up this one. Which is of Tan Masaki and a character from a webcomic that looks like it. This thing I thought I wanted to answer is Shimi's Yasubai Han. <laughs> she wouldn't. She wouldn't survive being Yasified. The one AM gang is here. Yeah, the other Discord server I'm like second or third most active in, and it's like a random closed off that guy one. Uh it's that and then like the a big Project Sekai server I'm also pretty active in, and my own server. Funny, funny, funny. Guys, heard a sound. It's probably my cat destroying something.
Bonnie. Yeah, I'm on that. I'm, I think most people are lurkers. I think in like, there's like war and hashtag general chat on there that like everyone's a lurker secretly. Thank you. Yeah, that that highlight color is so satisfying. Cause like, Saki's like really like platinum blonde hair isn't working as well when it's shaded. Let me see where Saki's hair. Oh yeah, by the way, if you see like layers flickering in my speed draws, it's me looking for them. Either that or what I'll do sometimes is I'll use the selection tool and like select it to like select the layer. Let's add like a block out background to this. Hello everyone. Welcome to the chat. What program do I use? Uh, I use Clip Studio. I'm doing good. I'm enjoying the stream. Let's see, come on, line up. I want these to make sure they're obviously the same. That that's the same color as Rana's outfit. I like doing this little background thing. Actually, I should do it to the on drawing as well. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't remember that. Normally I have like everything I do on Jackbox in my downloads, but like I moved computers so I can't even figure out what that is. Not Jackbox, Gardic phone. Yeah, one second. Alright, let me see. Jackbox best game? Yeah. Then Gardic Phone. I really like Gardic Phone. Let me move this over here so it's like more obviously. Let's do one for the little fish too. Yeah. I like how there's like all this anime shit and then there's just this like semi-realistic ancient fish. I like letting little parts clip out of the box. I don't know why it's really satisfying. Yeah, I like being able to use my pen. Jackbox is like hitting. I feel like with Jackbox, it's way more fun when you're with like friends you're familiar with. I feel like Gardic Phone is a. I, I, I guess with everything, it's like incomprehensible inside jokes, though. That's the fun of it. Oh, and all the cute sketches hidden. I need to change what color it is. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I used to draw on my phone when I was like really young. <laughs> uh, I'll add that's the list. Uh, never give. Sexy Roth, yes! Noom, we still don't forgive you for chickening out. Alright, next on the list, uh, Blade, you were the one who suggested Diego Brando. Are you still in chat? You'll escape some for I'll add that. Blade, are you still in chat? All right, Diego Brando. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it's really weird to say, are you still in chat? But I... 
No, but it's funny to say you chickened out. I'm gonna do his more dinosaur looking self because I'm me. But yeah, I, ch I check because I like prioritizing people who are currently in the chat. God, I haven't drawn JoJo art in forever. That's not the song that's playing right now. I just saw somebody. Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. we. I am. We are just being turned into we are. That one. Sora Kingdom Hearts. I'll add that to the list. Yeah, I take suggestions. I'm just going in order. And once I get to a request, I ask if the person's still in chat. That's how I do it. Damn, he looks- yeah, Diego Brando is so cool. He's a dinosaur dude. Let's give him claws. That's another very Dragon Girl design. Not like his overall design, but his con- Yeah, Watashiwa, Watashi Tachiwa. I love that song. Watashiwa! I don't think I can hit those high notes. I'm- I might try. A bright future! Oh yeah, that's another bad one. Knox to the future being a bright future. No, you know what's funny is rereading part seven recently. Uh, I got to like the Diego Brando scene and he's like eating rocks. And I'm like, I get that reference! And then like five panels later, it like straight up explicitly says like the whole thing about dinosaurs eating rocks. And I'm like, damn it, I'm not, I don't look cool anymore. Fun fact, uh, that that is true, by the way, what Rocky, because like some of Rocky's facts are a little weird. Uh, it is true, dinosaurs would eat rocks in order to di digest things better. There's like a word for it. It starts with like a G. I forgot what it is. I need to draw his tail. It needs to be in there. If it ain't got di dinosaurs in that's not Diego Brando. He, did he later died from a cold. Yeah. What, what, what did the Rocky mean by this? No, there's like, it's like gastro something. It's what the rocks are called. Uh, there are things that are wrong, like the vision being based on movement is purely an invention of Jurassic Park. But the rocks is true. Uh, because something funny, uh, if you think that you could escape a T-Rex because its vision is based on movement, I'm here to tell you that T-Rex had like the best vision of anything ever, more or less. It had like binocular vision and shit. Never read. Okay, let me give you the context of why he later died of a cold is extra funny. So, Gyro's motivation to enter the Steel Ball Run race is that, so, Gyro's family is like executioners, and they're like, execute the small child, and he's like, I don't want to execute the small child, and they're like, okay, win the Steel Ball race. Uh, part 7 happens, and then like in the, like the final page, I believe it is, it's literally like, oh yeah, that kid that Gyro, like, his whole motive. Oh, did my audio die? Oh, I think the audio died. Okay, is the audio- fuck. Is the audio back? fuck! Test. Test, test, test. Is it working? Okay, okay, it's working. Yeah, the few things I like about. Yeah, I don't. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the. Yeah, that was certainly a choice. I don't know why. That's such a weird choice for a Rocky to make. I think in general, Jairo's motivation is a little meh. It's not bad. I just, I don't know. I think part of it's just because reading it, rereading it, I like know the whole he later died of a cold, so I can't take it seriously. But yeah, with context, it's even funnier. Fangs. That's another thing. That's a very Dragon Girl design element. Fangs. I love drawing fangs. I 
Oh, you silence your browser. JoJo sounds like an experience, huh? Oh, JoJo's is fucking wild. Thanks, our peak. Like, let, let me tell you, this is... Horse racer who rides... So, like, horse racer who is a dinosaur. He turns into a dinosaur. That is his power, that he can turn himself and other things into dinosaurs. And that's, like, one of the most normal powers that someone has in this, this goddamn thing. That's, like, relatively normal. I haven't been flipping my canvas much. The on is even funnier now that I flip the canvas. Mm-hmm. Dinosaur virus. Oh yeah, that's another thing that... No, it isn't... So... No, I think it was a disease, yeah. Oh, see ya, Salmon. Glad you could catch some of the stream. Yeah, JoJo is fucking wild. Uh, part 7's plot is a, hor a horse race that's a government conspiracy to collect the parts of Jesus' corpse. And the main character's power is to shoot bullets out of his fingernails. No, it's more that his fingernails are the bullets. Thank you. Yeah, this is a very the drag- I want to, like, figure out what, like, the most Dragon Girl design is. This is definitely a very Dragon Girl design. The long hair boy. Uh, edgy. He's a dinosaur. I drew him, like, years ago once. And I'm glad I got an excuse to draw him. He looks like he's doing the Kono Dioda voice. Now, my one problem with Diego Brando is I kind of don't like how his dinosaur form looks. Like, that's purely because I'm a fucking nerd, but it just looks a little silly. I kind of like him half-transformed more. I don't think a he's supposed to be a velociraptor, right? I mean, I say supposed to be a velociraptor, like, because, like, it's based on Jurassic Park, because velociraptors aren't actually like that. I do like velociraptors a lot, though. They're just not super big. <laughs> and they have, like, super narrow snouts, so I think he's supposed to be a Deinonychus, because the Jurassic Park raptor is supposed to be a Deinonychus. And in hindsight, people usually call the Jurassic Park one a Utah raptor, because that one's bigger. But a Utah raptor is like the size of like a bear. That's a pretty shitty tail. I've been drawing my fucking OC with a tail all the time. Why can't I draw a tail now? His weird giant thighs. I think it's just like cowboy pants. I love dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures, man. If you can't, if you can't tell, you can't tell from all my fucking dinosaur art. I don't post a lot of it because I feel like people aren't super interested in it. But like recently, I've been doing it more, and I'm afraid I'm doing it too much because I'm like, oh god, people are gonna start like unfollowing me because they're gonna be like, shit, she, she got on the dinosaur right now. That being said, following me, you're you're signing up to whatever the fuck I feel like posting that day because I love drawing whatever the fuck I feel like. Like, I've tried to appeal to social media before. It's not fun. Yeah, but I <laughs> Thank you. It means a lot. I'm glad that some people are enjoying uh, me being very shameless with my dinosaur posting. 
Yeah. I'm afraid that some of it's like a little nerdy is the thing because the way I draw dinosaur feminine feminine ass waste. The way I draw dinosaurs is like very nerdy, like scientific y. I'm sorry I'm Mrs. No Fun. This, this looks like how I drew Ryan in Metal Gear recently. I've been playing Metal Gear recently. Uh, I haven't made- I haven't had any shit post. I, I have had one shit post. It's a work in progress. I don't feel like showing it off right now, but it's a- It's a vector layer. I, it's, um, there's a voice- The voice actor for Otacon from Metal Gear read out a thing where he's like, Snake, you gotta look out! Hatsune Miku has been spotted in the area! She's a twin-tailed android, and she invented Minecraft, and it's the funniest shit. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't get people- I don't get people who, like, make, like, an account for every fandom they're in. I'm not like that. You- you- you follow me, you are subscribed to every dumb thing I start liking, and if I start liking- Sonic Miku thing? No, that's like official and shit. The Sonic Miku. The oh, the live dom. Uh, why can't I move my mouth? Is this an internal dialogue? I can't see the end of the horizon. Hatsune Miku, is that you? That. I love the. I wish I could do a real time fan dump. The problem is like all my favorite video games are like. Not good for it. That's basically what I drew. Uh, I drew, like, Miku murdering Snake Metal Gear. I think I posted it in the Discord chat before. Um, let's see. Um, here it is. It's like Miku. You can't hear the audio because I don't have my my desktop audio on because I'm listening to music. What I want to do here is I want to add the like Metal Gear choking sound effect. The like. He's <laughs> <laughs> like snake. Got the family guy death pose. I need to. Let me, that's been bothering me. There we go. The frame with the snake ass, yeah. It's, I like how there's just like one random ass shaded. Why Why did I think it's good idea to color and shade this? I'm never gonna finish this. But yeah, I want to add the uh, 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 sound effect, the like sound effect when snake chokes someone, because I think it's a really funny sound. I think this is the only, uh, this bit's like lip synced a bit. I like this. It's like low frame, but like it's the, he says it like, Hatsune Miku. <laughs> he looks like Ike Fire Emblem when I draw him. But yeah, I have the full thing posted on my Discord. I drew like five lines and then just didn't elaborate. When I draw him, he just looks like Ike Fire Emblem. I remember one time we got together with friends of DC and dubbed Undertale and you never did it again. Uh, here's the thing, is like a lot of the video games I like fall into one of two categories. It's either something like, let's say Fire Emblem, where there's 20 minutes of cutscenes and they're all very disconnected, or it's something like Xenoblade, where there's 10 hours of cutscenes. Not 10 hours, Xenoblade's like 40 hours of cutscenes. And therefore, you can't really realistically do that as a fan, real-time fan dub. Because it seems super fun. It's a weird shade of brown. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out. I'm just, like, remembering the fucking voice acting in the Path of Radiance cutscenes. The Ike! Oh, no! Or the, the, uh... What else is an iconic line? Not much, but it is close. Look, Ike, over there! Your thoughts about Kingdom Hearts? 
Uh, look through my channel. I have made Kingdom Hearts memes before. You know the anime? Maybe. Oh my god! Kagero Project! <laughs> that one would be good. That one would be good. Uh, Mechaka City Actors. Yeah, that's the sad reality of the cutscenes, is there's just, like, you can't really do it with Fire Emblem. It's 80% dialogue. I like this lighting. Let's let's move the uh, lighting on this chest to also have this, like, backlighting. But yeah, I like Kingdom Hearts. It's really silly, and I like it. Yeah. I like Kingdom Hearts, uh, if you can't tell. Uh, and also, my, my, my only hot Kingdom Hearts take is that... Uh, KH2 overrated and Kingdom Hearts 3 wasn't that bad. Also, I don't understand why people don't like Dream Dot Distance. Here's my hot Kingdom Hearts take. Anyone who complains that Kingdom Hearts 3, the quote, Disney worlds don't matter, the Disney worlds don't ever matter, except, like, arguably Kingdom Hearts 1. Like, arguably Kingdom Hearts 1, they matter somewhat, but, like, Kingdom Hearts 2, when what the fuck does the Mulan world have to do with the story? No, because Kingdom Hearts plot structure... Yeah, Dream Drop was great. People just- the ending's confusing and that, like, effect did, like- Okay, so here we go. Kingdom Hearts games? It's like- It's like- Kingdom Hearts games? So, it will be like the beginning? Uh, the Disney bullshit? The- the- okay, no, wait. Beginning, it's plot. Disney, a tiny bit of plot. Uh, more Disney. The plot. That's, like, the plot structure of every Kingdom Hearts game. Not KH2 Elitist? Yeah, because my introduction was the collection. Yeah, I'm an actual fan. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't get... Kingdom Hearts 2 was fine. My main memory from my playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2 was purely that one scene where I'm like, oh, that's why there's so much ship art of Sora and Riku on the internet. Xenoblade has 11 hours of cutscenes. Yeah. And it's because throughout the games in Disney World become less and less relevant and Kingdom Hearts 3 was the worst because it's less of Sora interact. Yeah, Sora being green screened is kind of funny, but at the same- like, here's the thing. Sora being green screened into the Frozen World is ten times more iconic than anything in- Except, the only other thing that's iconic in Kingdom Hearts 2 is just the fact that, like, Sora is next to live-action people. But yeah, I think- KH3 has 13 hours of cutscenes. Yeah, you can't make a fan about it. Oh, this lighting is... This lighting is... I was about to call this lighting sexy. You know what? It is sexy. Let's give him, like, a little edge light around his face. But yeah, the Disney worlds never matter to Kingdom Hearts, and if somebody s says that, aside from, like, maybe, like, oh, I don't fucking know, the fucking Peter Pan world in Kingdom Hearts 1, I guess. That is, like, one of the objectively funniest ways to learn English is through fucking Kingdom Hearts. Because, uh, you can look up what Kingdom Hearts dialogue looks like. It is ridiculous. I love it. Yeah. Here's the thing is the Frozen World gave us Sora photoshopped into Let It Go, and I think that's hilarious and iconic. I like things that are funny, weird, like bad, not- Here's the thing though, is they like never do interact. Sonic is also a pretty funny one. I think Kingdom Hearts is slightly funnier because people just don't talk like Kingdom Hearts characters. Like, tier list of, like, funniest ways. Let's see. I think I should add a little more, like, of a red hue. Maybe, like, blow his hat. Uh, 
Darkness within darkness awaits you, Riku. I love Kingdom Hearts' stupid dialogue itself. My favorite... My favorite Kingdom Hearts quote is the Mickey, it's Riku. They put bugs inside of him. I love that quote. It's so funny. It's my favorite. I think about it so much. I'm going all out with this drawing. It's kind of funny. Ah, three diamond nine. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like I'm like nailing the lighting on this one, which is fun because it kind of started on complete accident. It's a show time. Kingdom Hearts Four is not. I don't even. I don't even know. I I don't have hopes for Kingdom Hearts Four announcements at this point. Realistic Sora. God, how many years ago was that? I don't want to think about that. Drawing his hair exactly like how would you ride in the middle here? Raiden's also a very Dragon Girl character. How about I like make his like eyes like super saturated? And then give him like a glint. Oh hell yeah. Two years, Jesus. I remember my friends, like, all pinging me on Discord, like, Dragon, wake the fuck up, you're gonna scream. Oh, you know what's really funny is when Sora was added to Smash was when I was, like, really into Kingdom Hearts, and I was watching the reveal of my friends, and I was screaming, and they were all, like, so salty. Yeah. Thank you. No, he's a very Dragon Girl character. That's why he looks so good. There's, like, very Dragon Girl characters. I was, like, screaming. I think that and Sephiroth's reveal. Sephiroth's reveal also made me scream. Like, when he murders Mario, I was, like, on a Discord call, and I was screaming. God, that is a saturated-ass tail. Yeah, Blade did cook with this request. He's a Dragon Girl character! Oh, fun fact, uh, Hana from my comic is actually, her design was somewhat inspired by Lisa Lisa, you can't tell. She was also inspired by Ike Fire Emblem, you also can't tell. She was also inspired by a Black Clover character, you also can't tell. She just doesn't look like any of her actual inspirations. She looks more like Nene, and Nene didn't even exist when I designed her. Hell yeah. Hijutsugai Kapi. However the fuck one sheep is playing. It's one of my favorite Sekai comms. The gay sheep song. Haters gonna hate. Email with scapegoat. Don't actually know the fucking lyrics. That's not how you spell Dio. What the fuck? Kodewa scapegoat to Konamoto. I really like my artwork I did for this song. Uh, the gay sheep, Ren. I think she looks really cool. God, I'm remembering those, like, Project Sekai animations I never finished. I should just post them already. 
I did a bunch of like Project Sekai animations a while back, but I never got around to finishing them, and it's been like forever, and they're never gonna get finished. What does it say about me that when I was make a joke about character design, I I almost yelled Nomura instead of Araki? Like not not even because like this is not a Nomura design at all. I'm just so used to screaming Nomura recently. Yeah. Bro, you just gotta, like, get his name out there, you know? He needs you to- He also has a hat with his name on it. No more brain cells. Listen, I've been- I finished remake- Uh, the second part of the remake recently, and, like, Nomura- Like, I've just been, like, going and- Why is my animation timeline up? I just realized. How long has that been there? One day I might stream animating. Not when I'm taking requests, though. I can't take animation requests. That would take too long. Can only think about Nomura. I always like having a name of somebody who made the thing to yell out. Like, we'll always play... Uh, well, I haven't finished Emmett and GS3 yet, but, like... Uh, Nomura is the maniac who asked what if, because he's the guy who made Kingdom Hearts and also is directing Final Fantasy VII Remake. He also did the art for the games. He's a really good artist. <laughs> this just looks like a character who could exist in Zero if his strip was, like, slightly less ridiculous. I think this strip is a little too silly for me. Like, his face, though. Like, that's a zero character. I like that I'm able to... One of my favorite side effects of my webcomic is that, like, if somebody posts fan art on Tumblr, the same few people like it, and I think it's really cute, because it, it, it feels like... It feels like having a tiny fandom, and I think it's so cute. Daybreak Frontline's playing, and I always get tripped out whenever I realize that Daybreak Frontline's an old song. Like, what do you mean? That's recent. Zero Diego. Yeah, uh, the, like, Daybreak Frontline Vivid Bad Squad cover, I keep feeling like is new and it's, like, years old or some shit. Anyway, if you ever make zero fan art, please send it to me. I will retweet it, reblog it, whatever. It's the only things I ever reblog or retweet uh, is zero fan art. Because I'm like, I don't interact with social media, but also deserve it. I have a folder. How long has it been? Uh, the 2D MV is from over a year ago. I don't know about the normal version. Let's see. The lines look a little funny, but I was really lazy. Maybe I should uh, just like draw the without the outline. Metamo- No! You're joking! No way Metamo Reborn is two years old, man! I don't know why my Metamo Reborn fan art's so popular. It's kind of just okay. I love that song. Metamo Reborn is like- It feels like it wouldn't be a Dragon Girl song, but I actually really like it. Anyway, I'm still waiting for a new 2P commission, Sega, you cowards. At least we got Hello Builder in the game. I kind of rather we have Hello Build- A lot of people want Hyper Reality Show. I'm not the biggest Hyper Reality Show stan. But it's kind of the only It's a P song that gets attention. Like... I do really like the live version. I think Miku is like the most slay ever. Yeah, that looks- Ah, Rocky!
Does he have a little ribbon? I never noticed he has a little ribbon on his hat. That's so funny. I don't have enough room for that detail, but that's so cute. Okay, guys, want to watch me do something super cool? So we're going to take the liner out of this folder. We're going to close the folder, copy, paste. We're going to merge selected layers, and then we're going to put this above the liner, and then we're going to go to auto action, change line color, voila. It's overpowered as shit. Let's add some more shading around his face. I feel like I need like his eyes to be in shadow. Yeah, it's a, look up, like, if you have Clip Studio, look up auto line change color. It's a, like, it's in the asset store and it's broken as shit. Move the... I'm surprised the stream's been going on for a while, but I still have a lot of energy. I like how chat's losing their shit. Yeah, it's so cool. I really like this one. It turned out super nice. Let's see if we can do like a... Let's just go even crazier. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, yeah, that looks... Oh, yeah. Blend modes are broken as shit as well. I don't like shading with blend modes. I don't get people who do that, but I do like color correcting with blend modes. I used to be like... I still like JoJo's, but I used to be the worst. Now the new chapter dropped, read that this morning. You just know! <laughs> yeah, his tail's is Dio. That's what the pattern on his tail is. Let's see. Let's fix- his hair looks a little green over here. Sleeping magic Look at that. Hell yeah. Sleeping, sleeping. Dio, 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 dio. I mean, to be fair, it's also quite notice more noticeable that he says Dio on his fucking hat. Let's give him like a really bright background because it's there's supposed to be a backlight, so let's give it like a gradient. Pulling out all the stops for this one. Do you think Dragon has a favorite drawing? Yeah, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder which one Dragon had the most fun doing. I wonder if Dragon likes the Dragon Girl character. Oh, Flyway's playing now. I also love this song. I love Flyway so much, man. It's such a good song. Helio C is so funny. Feel free to use your profile picture, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry everyone who's made a request but Blade won. No, you know what's really funny? Sometimes in my speed draws, you can see me suffer. In my speed draw for my flyway fan art, you can see I had to re completely redraw Kaito's arms. I do really like how that drawing looks, though. Oh, it's so good. 
my fly. Me, let me see if I can grab it. I need everyone to see my flyway drawing because flyway is playing right. God, I get emotional at this song. Nobody else can hear it in my headphones, but like flyway is so good. This one I'm so proud of. You have beef with Kaito for no reason. <laughs> in my speed draw, I had to completely redraw Kaito's arms because they were too stiff at first. I really like the way I colored the wings, man. I'm so proud of that. Also, the background. Even the background's just a lot of custom brushes. It still worked. Yeah, I love this drawing. Think I will, my love yeah, you can see the speed draw on my second channel. I suffered during, but it was so worth it. As a, It did help that the original had, like, really good lighting, so I could just color pick from that. Oh yeah, Blade, if you want a good screenshot, there you go. I mean, also, I probably will post it to Discord later. Actually, I need to color beneath him, because the blend modes are messing up. The blend modes are messing with the line art. Wrong layer, crunk. Yeah, the Sekai community moved away from Flyway too quickly. See, I'm trying to... Yeah, I wonder if Dragon has a favorite drawing from this stream. You could say they flew away, but then clang! Actually, yeah. I keep noticing things to fix about this. Um... Let me fix the line art. The auto line art isn't perfect, so sometimes you have to go in and manually fix colors like that. I've wanted to draw Diego from a while for a while, can you tell? Alright, let's see what's next on the list. Let's see. Uh Zero saying don't forget you're here forever. I believe that was Noom. I might do that one on my own. Let's see. Who was the person you requested never give up cocking? Who was the never give up cocking person? Oh, Yagi Toy. Was it Salmon? Oh, it was Nay. All right. I know that the inside of his shirt in his uh, new design is a Clip Studio brush, but I cannot for the life of me remember it, what, what it is, but I've used the same fucking brush before. Uh, all the projects I got, I'm pretty sure it's done in Clip Studio because I recognize a lot of the brushes. Hatsune Miku. Uh, she's on the list. Uh, let me see. When did you request her? Uh, do you have a specific- I think I didn't put her on here because I've drawn a lot of Miku. So you have a specific Miku you want me to draw? Because if you want Miku art, I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of, like, Miku art. But if you have, like, a specific song or something. Because I have, like, literally hundreds of Miku drawings. Going to sleep. When you sit. Uh, I don't think I put it on the list because I don't- put things that I'm not familiar with. Sorry, Pit. Uh, if you have another request, uh, I might do it. I can also make one of him with a shirt that says, don't let him cook. That would be funny. He's doing the OMG I hit tweet pose. Oh, Kakiri Pira is playing. I love this song. I 
I now can't put. Did I ever tell you guys that the the time I drew something for the uh for the my last stream art got deleted from the uh ofi the official Project Sekai Discord server because they didn't like that I gave Kaito a gun even though he has a gun in the game. I'm still mildly salty. Anyway, this is gonna get banned from official Discord speedrun. I'll just crop this out if I post this picture there. This is an out of character as fuck face, Jesus. He would be like more proud of himself. Yeah, I got in trouble with the mods in the official server for like Kaito with a gun saying, You f Dr. Funk to your last beat. And don't worry about the multiple cards in the game that have guns. What I just find so funny about that happening is like, you know what? I can like understand on a conceptual level a rule against having imagery of guns in a server. I can get that. Uh, the video game in question has firearms in it, though. Like, that's where I don't get it. That's where I think it's silly. It's the official server. It's not like a fan made server where like someone's like, "Hey, I don't for whatever reasons." Valid to have like any reason that you don't like certain things. That's why people put like warnings on things. Yeah, they all- I, did Ru when did Rui have a gun? Uh, Cyber Nene, in both are trained and untrained. Kaito did, Miku did, Toya did, and, um, Akito did. And also Konohane had a gun in one card. And it's, like, very funny. I think the official English- my favorite rule from the official English server, personally, is the, like, um, where he had a gun on his card from the event that came before 3rd Annie. Which event was that? Was that the, um, was that the one where it's, like, the on focus? Oh, yeah, that one. Now I remember. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was the most obvious gun, actually. He's just, like, pointing at the fucking camera. Phantom Thief Musiki? Did they have a gun? I guess they did. He's just like, I started drawing his outfit, so I'm just like slapping the t-shirt off on top. I feel like the Annie outfits aren't as iconic as their originals, though. I'm actually not looking at the, what the, I sent the me. I'm not actually looking at Discord right now. I might. How many tours until your glorious Miku? I said before I didn't put her on the list because I've drawn a lot of Mikus before, so I'll draw her if you have like a specific. Rindo, I can do Rindo. Yeah, let me add Rindo. Uh. Uh. Cause. Metaphorically, not literally. I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, see ya. Yeah, if you have like a specific Miku outfit or Miku doing a specific thing, but I want to prioritize, like, because like I have a lot of Mikus already. Bye, Sora. Rindo cries would make me think of I by Canaria. Hey, it's uh, amazing. Da -da -da -da. No, wait, that's not I. I know I buy, um... No, it's... My, 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 me, 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 I, I, I. Oh, God, what was my voice there? That sounded awful. Sakura Miku holding a leak as a microphone. Alright. Maybe? It's a little... Alright. That's ND, baby? Uh... uh the best Canaria song, by the way, is, um, uh, fuck is it called, um, uh, Requiem, the Miku version specifically. The, fly, uh, you fly high, 
I thought she something da da da. That's the worst hand I've drawn in a long time. Jesus fuck. See ya, Noom. Yeah, Requiem is so good. Identity is also good. I like when Canaris tuning is like that. Now, when I think of- Oh, God, where is his hands? When I think of I, I think of I by, um, Slave VVR. Slave VVR has also retweeted my fan art. That's my other flex. <laughs> what are these proportions? Oh, good lord. I don't actually know the lyrics. Yoni, call the father Yoni. <laughs> he looks so smug, it's so good. Should I just like import the logo of the Never Give Up Cooking and just like change the O to the cocking? I feel like the joke will be funnier if I do that. One sec, let me get the uh Never give. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to sing the fast parts. I do like. It would make a good. Uh, that would make for a good. Uh, shit post cover. Uh, let's see. Event. Gotcha. Or is there a transparent of? I know other people have made the edit, but I don't want to, like, steal other people's edits. Graphic design may not be my passion, but uh, stealing uh, artwork is even less of a passion. Let me see if someone's made a transparent of it. Never give up cooking. Okay, I found a transparent. Good lord. Let me just, uh, let me just download the actual image. Oh, a web page that lets me save as a PNG. Thank you. Let's make him bigger so it shows up better. Then let's just go in. This is gonna be like so subtle. Graphic design is my passion. You should also draw super impulse pop stars. I'll, I do not know what that is. I might look it up though. Because Miku interest. You know what's funny is I've unironically considered buying that Miku fitness boxing game. I think it just came out. I sob every day thinking about how Nem got commissioned for a Miku boxing game before he got commissioned for Project Sakai. I'm still waiting on that Nem commission. He would do like an amazing Rui commission. Graphic design is my passion. Unironically, though, like, I've considered buying that game. I have, like, some gift cards for a uh, Nintendo store, so, like, the Nintendo eShop, I mean. I love Alter Ego so much. I had this idea for a fan-made video of it. Even though it has, like, a video, I still want to do one. I love, like, it's so... Like, and I love it. You know, it could also fit, like, my OCs. It could be, like, Zero singing it, maybe? I haven't- I, I, I think I've shown off that I'd have, like, a little animation of Zero himself, like, to Devil's Manor. Oh, she did it, she did it, so did it, oh my, takura, I need not take it, takura. 
Also, the fact that Cosmo P did the theme song is so funny for, like, the Miku boxing game. They're like, who do we get for the Miku boxing game? The guy who makes the fastest songs ever. Yeah, it's the same producer. They're both really good. They're both peak. I need to listen to more of... I forgot what his name is. I need to listen to more of his songs. <laughs> Get banned from official loop. He's so proud of his... <laughs> He's so proud of himself. God, he looks soulless. <laughs> ah! His eyes are kicking my ass. I remember because the NEM commission and the fact that unironically I want to try it. Punching things to make a song sounds like it could be decently fun. And also, like, I'm... <laughs> I... I... <laughs> I wish I was stronger than I am. I feel like, I, I feel like IRL, I give the energy of like that image of Pepe the Frog with a chin, like the tray on the floor. That's what I think people perceive me as IRL. I like how you can see the little bit that I, because I drew on a different layer, you can see the little bit where I like erased the O. Let's just give him the same color as whatever the fuck his shirt is. <laughs> For legal reasons, this is a joke, so I don't get banned from, uh, the official server. New speedrun just dropped. Put this image in chat and see how long you take to get banned. For legal reasons, do not actually do this. That would be funny, though. Like, actually, don't do it, though. I don't want to get banned from the official server. Where will I self-promo if I... He's so proud of himself. He's just so proud of himself. He found this, like, new cool English word that he didn't... Well, you know what's really funny? I had this idea, like, years ago. So, the VBS Luca, or, like, Luca in Project Sekai, I believe, canonically can speak English, because her voice bank is bilingual. So, uh, I think Vivid Bad Squad Luca would teach everyone swear words. I think she would be like, this is how you say hello in English, and it would just be, like, piss. That's not a swear word, it's just funny. Look how proud he is of his little shirt. You got printed custom. It's like images where it's like, Dear Akito, please do not come to the Sekai. I've baked an awful cake. Like, absolutely fucked it up. Holy shit. Giving him backlighting for some reason. I need to shade his hair. Never forget that according to the... Official English uh, translation of this game. This is what normal hair looks like, but not Saki. See, how am I going to do the highlight? I'm going to have to do it like separately for both sides of his hair. Well, it's not, because, like, here's the thing, is the songs aren't 100% canon, but, like, I think it's, like, mentioned in a card story that, like, Luca can speak English. Because, like, in real life, it's not just that, me that Luca speaks English in the song, it's that, in real life, Luca's voice bank is bilingual like there's an english and a japanese voice bank and it's because like the singer can it's not like with miku where like her english is kind of crappy because like the person doing the voice can't speak english because like miku and the kagamina's english is kind of meh i think kaito's say you can speak a little english he like posts on twitter float no way float planner is two years old Thinking about how Haruka still hasn't had a good commission. I thought- I, I was so sad that the R906 commission wasn't Haruka. I feel like R906 could have saved Haruka and given her a good commission. 
I was hyped to see R and L six though, because I feel like I saw like I think I saw yeah, he is by Lynn. Okay, yeah. Because he posts in English a lot on Twitter. Now, you know, one of, my, one of my favorite things that recently... Have you seen the videos where, like, Kaito's VA just asked people how to, like, say, like, like to his cat, want to play together in, like, a bunch of different languages, and it's the world's most wholesome thing, and you go in the comments, and it's everyone going, like, your pronunciation is great, thank you, Notofoga! It's, like, the world's most wholesome thing. I think that Kaito Seiyu should be the only person allowed on Twitter. I think now Tafuga, like, he's the only person who makes good tweets. <laughs> yeah, he is the best. It's so funny. He's so wholesome, too. I don't like how- There are some people who are weird, though, to him on Twitter, which I don't like, because it's like, he's just like some dude. Just like a really nice dude, who's just like happy to see ar so much artwork of Kaito and stuff. <laughs> this one is really silly. I like it. Don't let him cook. He looks so proud of himself. Let's see who's next on the list. The person who requested Sora isn't here. Rindo from The World Ends With You. Should I have Rindo doing anything in particular? I'll just draw Rindo. Rindo's cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, his last name is Kanade. Yo, it's just like Project Sakai, yo! It's just like Kanade Project Sakai. <laughs> I'm looking at like the full image and just seeing the Diego Brando be so good in the corner. I'm getting some good drawings in now. I've been streaming for three hours. I'm surprised how much energy I have considering I've been streaming for three hours because sometimes I get, like, tired. Maybe it's because it's been so long. I'm just having a good time. Oh, God, I'm gonna have to draw the fucking stripes. Damn it. Sad that this game's legacy is the game that nobody knew even released. Namara put. In 2 a.m. <laughs> I'll still work on this even if you leave the stream. You're a Dragon Girl Discord server user privilege, and also I just like having a chance. Contrast between Diego Brando and just Toya. I think the contrast between Diego Brando and everyone here is funny. I guess Saki and Rana also are like very cute. It's just like a nice drawing. I really, I really like this drawing. It's super cute. I'm glad I got requested it. This is a very variety show of uh, artwork. Shut up. 
Should I give him his mask up or down? His earrings, I never noticed that. He looks cool with his mask. Twenty. I keep saying twenty. The Rollins with you is a good game. I feel like here's how you know something's really good. Everyone who's played it either dropped it in the first hour or it's in like their top games of all time, and the world ends with you is like that. Yeah. Didn't like Nomura say no the mask was on accident, it was coincidence. I like wearing masks, honestly. I'm with Rindo on this one. Masks are nice. I don't know how to draw his hair from a different angle. You know, we're just gonna. Nah. Ike Fire Emblem? Okay. Yeah, I think we can do a few more drawings. I think I have a lot of energy in me, and there's quite a bit of space left to make. It feels like today has been like all all of this is like just like good drawings, I feel like. <laughs> like I think this is the only one that's kind of a shit post. I'm gonna give him the mask. That's what the point of the mask is, am I right? Oops, I accidentally had the sketch did okay, thank god. I was like, oh god, do I draw the sketch layer? Here's a mask, it's just like Futa Milgram. Something funny I noticed is I think I drew Futa in all my streams so far. I think. Or like two out of three. I also always did I've always been requested procure. <laughs> Pandemic noise. I wonder, because I have heard people talk about Royal Institute translation. I don't remember anything specific, though. I wonder if there's anything else that's funnily translated in there. I know this song's lyrics because of the fucking Toad version I made. It's a good game. You can get, like, the first one for pretty cheap. Like I said, it's the type of game where it's it's either gonna, like, you're either not gonna vibe with it, or it will be in, like, your top of all time. Wake up, time for... Yeah, there, there are some people who complain. Like, I've been joking about Project Set Guy's translations here, but I've also mentioned there are some translation things where I think people are just, like, salty and stupid. Like, if... Yeah, I think the Ice Day 2 DMV is by the original artist. But, like, I'm cursed. I just think of my Toad cover. This is one Tumblr post I saw that's just like the, the world ends with you wiki and it's just like Rindo's image gallery and it's like the two images next to each other is like Rindo mimicking a gorilla! Rindo having an existential crisis. Nah, I should put the mask down. Yeah, I like the world ends with you drip. It's fun. And uh, wearing the maid dress is like totally normal to boost your stats. And canned air, that's also- There's so many iconic things from the world ends with you that I can't reference. Because like nobody- nobody will understand! No one will understand if I like yell out like- like a- <laughs> 
God, what did I do to it? That does not look like Rindo. Uh, yeah, I use the lasso tool sometimes. It's easy for me. The la thing about the lasso tool, I don't actually use. I don't think I use the eraser like ever. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll set like my brush to transparent and use that as an eraser because I just feel like the normal eraser is like super inefficient. If I need to get rid of a lot of things really quickly, I just use the lasso. I don't get people who use the lasso tool for filling though. If you use the lasso tool for filling, I will judge you. He looks too old in this. And yep. Fix his proportions. It's supposed to be like a teenager or something. Is Jet Set Radio like a Sega thing? Because I feel like I. That's that's all I know. I don't know anything about. I had a lot of fun. All right. See ya, Blade. Pal Sensations, a good song. God, I'm realizing all these songs are like two years old now. Yes, YouTube, I'm still watching, damn it. Why do you even care, YouTube, if I'm still watching? Even if I'm like not watching. Yeah, because I feel like I've heard of it, and I feel like that means that there has to be like a Miku reference or something. Because a lot of Sega games reference Miku. And Miku references a lot of Sega games in her games. Stripes. Okay, Roxas Kingdom Hearts 2, we get you. Oh no, don't make me. No, 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 no. Stella is. Oh. I mean, I know Stella's the first Sekai song, but still. Oh god. No, you know what's funny? Is I saw like a. Like post where someone's like what's your favorite old sekai cards and then they post a picture of unnamed harmony i'm like what are you talking about unnamed harmony is a new set and i'm like oh wait it's literally the first one from rotation too it is old and i'm like no old sets are like nocturne and stella right that, that's a still a new new set what do you mean unnamed harmony is new i mean old like when i think of like old sekai sets i think like forward i think because, like, I remember a lot of the, the, like, old, in quotes, sets, you know? Or when people talk about how Sekai used to be a little bit weirder. Like, they're like, oh, that's just when Sekai did some weird things with the songs. And I'm like, Nocturne. Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> we can vote for Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne! One day I might play the SMT games. I don't know if it looks that much like Rindo. He looks like a few years too old. Yeah, lasso tool is good for a lot of things. Oh no, don't make me think about that. <laughs> I think that fixed it. So maybe it's his nose. I'm trying desperately to figure out what's wrong with this drawing. Yeah, we've been waiting a while for Enna's fourth song. Do we know who's doing the commission yet? I know Toya's is our sound design, even though our sound design already did one. Okay, I will say, I like using the lasso tool as an eraser, but if you do this in order to color your drawings, I do judge you.
Maybe it's the hair. Yeah, it's probably the hair. So yeah, her fourth comm hasn't been announced. Okay, I will say... Okay, hot take. My least favorite Project Sekai cover is the Totomoe Tai cover. Because they did EZFG so dirty. I need them to give EZFG like a good cover or commission him. I draw with a computer pen. My computer is one where I can draw directly onto the screen uh, with a Bluetooth pen. Uh, if you draw with a mouse, I abhor you because that, that's really hard to do. Actually, fun fact, there's one page in my whole comic where my pen broke, but I wanted to draw. So let me see if I can grab the one. It's from years ago. So here's the thing is when I started my comic, I had a rule that I had to draw a page every day. Uh, that was my way to stop me from like not drawing. And it worked. Now I just do it whenever I have time. Like it's my go-to thing to do because I'm bad at focusing on things. It's my go-to thing to, to do if I'm like need to watch something or even if I'm just hanging out. See, it's from the chapter with Red. Uh, not the new one, the first one. It's... Okay. If I remember correctly, this panel was drawn with a mouse. I might be misremembering. Yeah, actually, the line art looks like shit. I think it might have been Ito, who was drawn with the mouse. God, old ass fucking art. Fun fact: this NPC is based on Gumi. A lot of the NPCs have, but yeah, uh, you can tell because the line art looks like ass when you zoom in. Like there's uh, the previous page actually there's. I remember this one other NPC uh, over here. Uh, this is the ribbon. I think I was like watching a video about Final Fantasy VII, so I was just like, oh, Aerith. That's a generic, make generic face. Um, I think this girl cut this hair because I was like playing Persona 5, so it's kind of like Makoto. This is Stella. You can see her hiding in the background because she shows up later. And this is Rana's older design. This is actually Rana. This is supposed to be Rana because I liked sneaking in characters in the background. Uh, Rana's design has changed slightly. But that's her old design. And uh, there's actually one other scene where a character has a different design. Uh, there's one scene where there's an older design for Leon in the background. You can also see in this page, there's Violet. And there's Yuki. And this is an old design for Leon. He changed, though. His, his design changed. He used to have this, like, strand of hair that he doesn't anymore. I think my friend, while I was drawing this, also said, sneak Mario in the background. So that's, you can see a hat and, like, Mario-ish hair. I don't want to, like, outright put it in the, because my friend was next to me while I was drawing this. It is the most subtle thing. You cannot notice it. But it's really funny. <laughs> yeah, there's the Dragon Girl NPC lore. I don't think there's any other particularly interesting NPC designs. I kind of stopped doing that. I didn't like it. It was Mario Cannon Zero, I guess. Uh, yeah, there's no other interesting NPC designs, I think. Uh... There might be one in the one scene where, like, Anthony is fighting a bunch of people. Fun fact, the reason Anthony's name sounds so out of place is because my friend named him. I was just like, what do I name this guy? And he said, Anthony, and I'm like, sure. Okay, actually, I, I do have a few more NPC lore. Mario and Zero should be... Yeah, it should be. Here's some more things in Zero. I was playing Dragon Quest XI, so this is based on Jade Dragon Quest XI. I believe the Twin Tails was like Sarah Fire Emblem, maybe? I feel like this girl looks so specific that she must be from something. She looks kind of, 
I can't tell. Maybe Miku? This hair looks too specific. It looks like I had to be inspired by something. Yeah, Anthony is not a very dragon name. Uh, one of my friends also named Haru, but Haru sounds more like a dragon girl name. Uh, I think there's one other that my friend named. I'm trying to remember. It might be Miku. It might also be um, Kanle Ka, because she has hair like that, and that inspired Ilya's design. So I know I was like aware of Kanle Ka back then. I don't think it's Sakura and Miku, though, because like the colors were kind of arbitrary. Yeah, Haru is a nice name. Because all my names are just stolen from video games. Yeah, Mario's canon in Zero is on the Zero iceberg now, I guess. It's not canon, it's just a dude with a hat. I avoid making references in Zero. Like, that's why that's so in the background and literally was just there because I was shitposting with my friend. Um, uh, because I don't, I think like something like Zero that's in like a fantasy world, a reference will take you out of the story. There's one like very like a uh, subtle Kid Icarus quote in there. The like, you know, like the one scene where like uh, Veridi does the uh, or where Pitt and, Pitt and Dark Pit do the pre-boss battle rally and cry and like after the whole thing, Veridi's like, nice speech you guys, stay up all night writing it. Uh, there is a quote like that that was in fact stolen from that. Uh, and I also was inspired by the Monogatari like neck thing they do sometimes in that same chapter. I don't know if that counts as a reference, though. I think that's more inspiration than reference. Yeah, I'm bad at naming things. I just steal names. I call them placeholders. And then that just becomes their name. Like, almost every name my characters has can be traced back to, like, a video game character. Like, uh, like when I distinctly remember, like, I was, like, naming the files while I was, like, uh, redesigning, um... Leon, because he had a different design at first. Uh, and I was just like playing Resident Evil 4 at the time, so I just named the file Leon, and that's why his name is Leon. That's a weird ass thumb. It's just. That's. Maybe that, like, this part of his hand looks bad. Whatever, it passes the good enough test. I think it's just that it doesn't look like it's coming out of where his thumb should be coming out of. Because, like, his thumb would be, like, more like here. I think we just don't need that. There we go. Good enough. Fun fact, for a while you could see it for a bit in my comic, I used purple shading on certain scenes because of the well lens view and how it uses like purple for like the shading. I was inspired by that. It also inspired how I draw tears. I still draw it the way the world ends with you does, sorta. I think it just works nice, because before I would just like draw it on top and it looked kind of out of place and weird. Now nah, we don't need the highlights. The highlights are making it worse. Give him like a red background because it's like the Reapers game. Let's see. Running on a little less steam now, so let's see how many things are left on the list. Uh, Miku, I'll do that and then I'll do one more.
Oh, let's get Sakura and Miku. What the fuck is that Yutu shit? Get that out of here. Sakura and Oh, what if I do Rella's Sakura and Miku design, actually? That's a good one. I love Rella. Can I draw? Um, things like that. Uh, Yosuke? Oh yeah, Yosuke is on the list. Okay, I'll do that as my last one after this. Because you've been in chat and you haven't done a request yet. Yeah. So, for something like that, I do have commissions. Because for more personal artwork, like I said, I'm doing purely things that are like things that I enjoy drawing. Yeah, Rella is my favorite artist, by the way. If it, if it isn't obvious from the way I like shade things, I love Rella's art. Let's see. Rella, Sakura, Miku. I'm trying to see if there's like a high quality version of the reference for this, but I can't. I found a really crusty one, but that's not like good as a reference. So low quality. The fuck. Uh, yeah, I think I've actually looked at Rella's old art. I think she has done a bit of Persona art. I regret not buying Rella's art book, by the way. We'll do it based on the figure, because the lighting in hers makes it a little hard to see. Let's give myself a little more room. Yeah, I feel like this one was mostly just like good drawings. I like I like the the results of this. I should stream more often if I get chances. Fun fact, there's like a contest, unofficial contest for Sakura Miku that I entered. Uh, I don't remember when the voting is, but when it is, vote for my I designed a uh Sakura Miku that's like a moth. Vote for her. It's a really expensive figure. Here's the thing is I don't like figures that aren't based on specific songs. But I do like Rello's art a lot. God, I have so many favorite Rella drawings. A lot of my artwork is me trying to be like Rella. Uh, if you can't tell from how obvious. I do have one drawing where I just straight up tried to draw in Rella style. Uh, it's a drawing of my OC Ito. Let me grab it. Um, where is he? This one, where I just straight up tried to draw like Rella. I think the result was alright. I don't know if it looks like Rella's art, but it does look good. Like, I changed my Twitter banner to this. I think it's really nice. We have a lot of other drawings inspired by Rella. Uh, but I want to focus on finishing these drawings before I run out of steam, so uh, you can probably... Ask me on Discord in a few hours, and I'll tell you. Oh, I'm going all out for this one. Holy shit. I'm both, like, trying to cover up a lot of space, but I also think... It will also balance it out if there's, like, a really a really nice draw. draw. And here's the thing is my competition when lighting that thing is I'm comparing myself to Rilla, and Rilla is the god of light. Because uh, if I put a, like, nice detailed one on like, the opposite side of the Dino one, it's going to balance it out really nice. Yeah, that was directly pulled from... If you look up, like, Rilla artwork, you'll see, yeah, I pulled the orange lighting trick from her. I wish I could draw like Rella. Rella's like my artist where like, God, I wish that that's how I could draw. Like specifically her lighting, like her actual art style itself, like it's good, but like the lighting is what really sells me. Aw, thanks so much. Um, I mean, Here's your tutorial as to how, just watch how I do it. 
Yeah. A lot of people ask, like, how you find your art style or whatever, and I think those questions are bullshit. I think you just draw how you think looks good, and that's how, like, that's how I draw. I draw the way I think looks nice. Like, there are some conscious choices I make, but, like, a lot, like, how I draw hands, for example, that's just how I draw. It's like saying find your handwriting. I think, like, especially beginner artists really need to focus more on just, like, learning how to draw than being concerned with, like, art style and, like, because, like, art style is, like, your marketing or branding, I guess. But, like, if you're you're just starting out, you should be, like, trying to, like, make art that just, like, looks nice or, like, learn the fundamentals. Like, learn how to color a drawing. Learn how to color a drawing. I love drawing animals. I also, uh, I'm fine at drawing hands, I guess. I have days where I'm, like, super good at drawing hands and days where I just suck. I think for that, just, like, do some studies of animals. Uh, study is a boring word, but you need to do a little bit of research when drawing animals. Another thing I remem to remember is a lot of animals follow the same basic anatomy as people, so you can think of them like that. Like, this is gonna sound super weird, but, like, for example, wings? Wings have the same bone structure as human arms. It's just, like, the bones are different lengths. But, like, a wing can move like an arm. Like, I love doing that. Like, my OC Ray, who has wings, I have him do, like, a lot of fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's actually why a lot of in This is gonna sound really funny. Why a lot of inaccurate drawing... So, let me explain real quick. So, let's start by drawing a human skeleton or an approximation so there's like the shoulder a little bit here there's this bone there's this bone and here's like your hand with all its little hand bones this is a human skeleton and it's like connected to like there's a bone here this rib cage blah 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 human skeleton a bird skeleton and also has this which birds also have bird skeleton bird skeleton looks something like this. And something you'll notice is that that is the same, more or less, as how human bones work. Because uh, when you do the wing on top, wings look like, they kind of like drape, oh. and then you get the primary feathers, And that's a wing. A wing is just an arm. And that means when you draw wings, you can think of them. It's shoulder, that, that, and then that's like the fingers. Because remember, bird wings were dinosaur arms. Like, dinosaur arms just turned into wings. Let me actually, uh, cut this all out of here and put it in a different folder. Yeah, I guess, I guess this trick does require... This is what I mean when I say studying seems boring, but it's useful. Shit, did I accidentally delete the... One sec, let me... God, listening to Flyer just reminds me of the one clip of, like, Akito's voice actor forgetting to sing Flyer at, like, a live concert. Bokuda Flyer, a Flyer. Okay, here's your useful guide. But 
But yeah, this is what I mean when I say all things follow, like, most the same anatomy rules as humans. It's just different lengths. Like, bird legs, uh, bird legs look like they bend backwards, but bird legs actually look like this. So this is the front part, this is the knee, and this is the ankle, and these are the toes. But when you see a bird, this is all covered in feathers. So birds don't have backwards bending knees. They just have, um, uh, they just have, uh, very long ankles. That's such a good leg for something I just did as an example. It looks like it would fit in a cartoon. Yeah, a lot of people who don't study animal anatomy are like the same type of people who draw inaccurate dinosaurs, and that's why they always look kind of like shit. Because they don't... I'm not smart, I just am a nerd. Because <laughs> I know all this animal knowledge just because I like animals a lot. So I just pick up a lot of this. And a lot of um, art is, surprisingly enough, like, just like weird real world knowledge. Like, ambient light is just like science. It's just how color works. But understanding how that works makes your art better. And that's why I say look, studying is boring, but you gotta do it if you want to get really good at art. Like, I feel like there's a type of anime art you see and you can like immediately go, you've never actually studied anything, you just copied from anime. Uh, it's what I call the front page of Pixiv. Not as in, like, what's the top on Pixiv. Like, when you're sorting by new on Pixiv, I mean. And you just see a lot of things where you're just like, yeah, you know. Yeah, thankfully we have the power of YouTube, so you don't need to go to fancy art school to learn that. You just need to, like, make the commitment to learn. But yeah, I'm not a scientist. I'm a nerd. Being called out. Sorry, Pit. <laughs> Uh, there are some good YouTube channels for it, like, uh, Tipo, uh, like, T-P-P-O, I believe it's spelled. That's a really good channel I recommend a lot if you want, like, some basic knowledge. He makes, uh, really good, good, like, artist studies. Fun fact, uh, for Tipo's video about Rella, you can see, like, the list of people who, like, recommended he colored, uh, not co color, covered Rella's artwork, and you can see, I'm in the end of the video, like, my name, the Dragon Girl 27 uh, because I asked him in the comments, like, hey, can you cover Rella? And, uh, you can see me with, along with the other names of whoever else also asked for Rella. It was really trippy, because I was like, I was like, holy shit, I'm on a Tipo video, and I, like, posted pattern on Discord, and everyone's like, who's Tipo? And I'm like, you don't get it! You also did a video on Mika Picasso, like, the, uh, Engage artist, which might interest you. Uh, you just made a lot of useful videos. Um, there's also one, I can't remember the name, but there's one uh, I post a lot when people ask for basic advice because he makes, like, videos that are, like, 50 seconds. Yeah, the lighting video. My name's at the end. If you look uh, at the end, my name's there. Yeah. Keep in mind, in that video, he- oh, shit. Save. What the fuck happened? Okay, my computer was glitching for a second. We're, we're good, we're good. Hey, nay. We're gonna do a few more drawings and then we're gonna call it a wrap. Oh, you saw my name on there. That's so funny. Yeah, it's it's before I like changed my like when YouTube gave everyone like a weird ass name. It's before I changed mine to just be the Dragon Girl Twenty Seven. So there's like two other numbers after it. I think I made her hair look nice here. I want her hair to look like really alive. It's 
very alive. I like drawings that look alive. I like making my drawings look lively. My least favorite drawings are all the ones that look stiff. Like, okay, I, it's actually one of my favorite drawings, but like my drawing I made of like Miku for like the, her 16th birthday with all the references, I love the background. I hate the Miku drawing. She looks so stiff. So I'm struggling with this other hair. It keeps looking wrong. That's good enough. Let me open up Rella's original drawing. 